playing every one of the top 40 records being played on every radio station in the United States is a communication to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. The psychedelic jackets on the record albums have their own hidden messages. We don't want you to smoke genetically modified ganja. We want you to smoke the real thing. We want you to smoke the natural herb. Some call it marijuana. Some call it sense media. Some call it lamb's bread. And some people call it ganja. Welcome to another edition of the Adam Dunn Show. I am your host, Adam Dunn, and I am in the echo chamber. It's definitely got an echo. Not an echo, but it's got a resonance. Oh, There's a resonance. A reverb. So reverb, please yeah. speak close to the mic. It's going to be hard on these chairs, of course, because we're going to have to scoochy, scoochy, or just bring this thing right as close as you can, because otherwise you're going to sound like you're in a fucking submarine, I'm Hello. sure. Hello. Check, as check. promised, as prom- we, this is the breeder's, this is called the breeder's bash, so I have a breeder here, so luckily I have a sort of breeder, breeder-ish guy, breeder-like, breeder-like, a breeder-like guy, no, a guy who has brought breeds to the masses, that's all that matters, as long as you brought some good fucking genetics to the people, and you were the guy behind a certain strain, I'll leave it at that, you're a breeder in my mind, my friend, at least your dad was a breeder, somebody, somebody around you bred it. <laughs> <laughs> we know people that know people. <laughs> yeah, we know some guy that knew a guy, and, uh... Special guest for the intro right here, Wayward Bill, legend, legend. Now he's a beyond a legend. Now, now he's he's even he's he's getting. I'm surprised he even got on the show. He's on the Jim Jeffries show. Jim Jeffries' podcast is way bigger than this podcast. This podcast is minuscule, and he he is the most unprofessional guy in the world. So I love him. I think he's awesome. You know. So uh, you were on the show recently. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, MTI. In the house, we are actually at. Uh, what is it now? What's it called again? What? Here, where we're at, Thanksgiving. It, it, okay, so we're at Thanksgiving, which is obviously you're gonna like. Wait a minute, Thanksgiving was last week. Right. Stoners, bro. You know, the stoners. stoners. <laughs> Thanksgiving every. Oh, dude, we can eat a lot of food. It's like, yeah, that was last week, bro. I was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? But it is the uh, one of the qualifiers for the Connoisseur Cup here by uh, Jason throwing down. Uh, the beautiful Chiari Mansion, they call it. What is it called? Is this got a name? The Mansion. The Mansion. That's all you have Please. to know. In Dave's house. And we're on the side of the mansion in the room where everybody usually goes and hangs out and smokes anyway. So Nice. We would gravitate. We were actually originally in a hallway. <laughs> we were. <laughs> and we were in between. The, I, I, was, I walked over and I said, where the fuck is this? And it was like... We would have literally been in a hallway where people would have walked past us every five seconds. It was like, no, this is never going to work. Nope. So uh, we, had to, we had to take it all down, set it all up. <laughs> so everybody out there, appreciate MTI today. We're in the case. <laughs> appreciate MTI day. I can already feel it. When I walked in, I was like, hey, how's it going? He's like, yeah, it's great. I was like, okay. <laughs> we got to be sensitive today. But uh, speaking of sensitive, fucking Jim Jeffries destroys... His crew, doesn't he? Is, he? is he as bad as he sounds on the show? Uh, he's he's very interesting guy. He uh, he he's actually real, you know. He just he actually just got his citizenship, so so I don't know what that's gonna do for him. Right. But he uh, he's, he's got, a, if you don't know who Jim Jeffries uh, is, it's a uh, Australian comedian, hilarious. He's rude. He's got some good specials on Netflix. You can check him out. But he's fucking he's he's pretty rude. And it's funny because he lives in America, and he's, he's, he has to slowly adapt to it. But he's, his podcast is hilarious because it's always fun to hear other people's opinions on what the fuck's going on here. And he lives in, you know, he lives in California or whatever. So it's, uh, you know, that's, that's a different world. And, and it, they're not lying when you, he, he, he starts a show with, you know, we're behind a coffee shop on, on Sunset Boulevard, you know, because actually when I had to go to the soundstage, I had to walk through a coffee shop to get to it. <laughs> really? I didn't even know that. That's, that's cool. Um, no, but he's definitely one of the... I, basically, all I listen to him is him, Bill Burr, obviously, Rogan. You know, there's a few that are the, the standards. You Rogan's know. a man. Yeah, I know. Rogan's that's too easy. That, that's, the easy. that's the easy way. That's the greenhouse of, the greenhouse of uh, podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guy. We'll reach outside the box, my friend. No, uh... We are going to have any second now. Two is going to come in from uh, TSK, 
Mr. CBD himself. Miss, I mean, he'll have some crazy beers with him, I'm sure, and he'll be loud and obnoxious and, and raunchous. But he's also going to come in with a bunch of fucking land race. He's got like 15 different strains from all over the world that he's uh, grown out and done some IBLs now that he's going to work on and also outcrosses with them. But interesting because he's covered the globe on this one. So and apparently they're all over the fucking place too. They're like racy. They're, you know, so it could be, could be interesting. Uh, so we have him coming through. Uh, James from Seeds Here Now will be in the house. He's been shooting videos. They, they basically been, uh, we, so we went and shot videos yesterday. I was there. Um, Colin from uh, Ethos was there. Uh, shooting some videos for his website to kind of make it easy for people. When they're d- picking out strains, they can click on the breeder and listen to him talk about the strain, which is... Dude, you don't want to listen to mine. Mine are terrible. <laughs> I am rambling like a fucking typical. I'm like, yeah, and then anyway. Uh, and then that's like, dude, funny, dude. You know, nothing professional about anything I did, which is great. So that's I, good. I, 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 again, another thing I'll never listen to that I did. I'll be like, no, that's me. You don't want to do that. Don't listen to that. <clears throat> and um, I don't know who. We, we were trying to get Duke Diamond. I think he might be showing up. We'll see. That would be a proper breeder bash at that point. <laughs> then you can leave. It's okay. Then you can go. You're <laughs> then out. you can go. You're out. You're out. Yeah, you're yeah, not no, even. No, dude. I don't even know what I was thinking. You're out. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I, we're in a house full of fucking stoners over there. Maybe like these guys. I mean, they were not planned. Come on. Do you think I would plan these guys together? No. Never. No. This is a two uh, mega shows on their own, right? You're getting the twofer. Hey, come on. You get close <laughs> to the mic. Get close to the mic. I know it's painful. You're getting the twofer. There you go. So, Mr. Bill. Oh, you ever called that, Mr. Bill? Yeah. Oh, good. Back when Mr. He, Bill was... When Mr. Oh, Bill was relevant. No. Exactly. When he was relevant. When he was relevant. He was one of my favorite... Dude, as a kid... Oh, Mr. You can ask my mom what was my favorite cartoon as a kid or like like thing like that. She'd be like, dude, he loved Mr. Bill for some reason. I was there. Like, I'd stay up and watch that in live just to see that. And I'd be like, fuck yeah. A Mr. Bill. This is the best, you know. If you're not familiar with Mr. Bill, you shouldn't even be listening to the show. <laughs> but... Well, there's plenty out there, I'm sure. They're like, what do you mean? Those damn millennials. Oh, they know nothing. Millennials. Um, Dave, Davey and Goliath. <laughs> for sure. So, uh, More claymation. So, uh, yeah, you've been on the scene here, obviously, since, I've came, uh, since I came here. And you, you were uh, a big advocate for legalization. You've got to watch the whole thing from beginning to end. Uh, are you sad at all to see, like, the old pre even attempting legalization just like let's go back to even before it was even a thought in our minds we just like not that it was you know because if we think about it now it's a lot of a lot of these things you thought it was terrible when it was there and then when you think back you're like actually it was pretty damn fucking easy and good you know that uh, we we had no problem with public consumption Mm -hmm. you know that that we used to pull, I'm not going to name the, the venues because people still might be using but yeah. we, we used to have cups before there were cups. You know, we used to, we used to have a radio show over there on Santa Fe that mm-hmm. everybody got together on a Tuesday night, sometimes Wednesdays, and then back to Mondays. But <laughs> Those are the proper party nights, too. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday. The obvious when you really go out. Every day that ends in walk. <laughs> and, and you had to walk through a head shop to get to their sound stage. Yeah, I was there once. I was there. What was the name of the place again? Uh, marijuana Radio. I can't remember the name of the head shop. <laughs> yeah, no, Marijuana Radio. That's right, exactly. I, I went there with Derek a few times and uh, I think with Tim and stuff. It was definitely... It was funny, too, because it's like, you know, when you go to a head shop and you smell weed right away, too, you're like, huh? Because usually head shops are pretty, you know, like, hey, what do you mean a bong? <laughs> What's that out there? Who the fuck? <laughs> Somebody people. Uh, but yeah, there it was like you walked in and you're like, dude, I smell weed. And the guys would always be like, point, just point upstairs. And you're like, okay. <clears throat> but, in, but in general, I mean, you, you also get to see how the, each state picks it up and kind of... For a little while, uh, Colorado was the sort of poster child. Everybody was like, yeah, like this. But now, you know... Uh, you see, as it as it matures or not, it matures in my opinion. That you know, that's the biggest problem we have right now is public consumption, right? And, and now it looks like Vegas is Vegas gonna is do second. it. They're, yeah, they're having the problem. No, they're doing it. You know? They're fucking doing it now. They have announced that they are going for it. And really, in the end of the day, it really comes down to uh, somebody being will, you know, somebody willing to be that lightning rod, you know. All right. And. Uh, 
I think that 300 program didn't work here at all. That was a big failure. Uh, we just, we, I was just down in City Hall testifying on that one. Well, tell us what you heard. Uh, we didn't hear anything. We, yeah. we, we told them a lot. <laughs> right. You know, we told them, that, you know, I, I told them about HUD and basically being a veteran and, and you know, depending on that housing, but because it's federal housing, I was I had to go to the alley. Well, you know, I I I got a pot ticket for him, so I I explained that and I said, you know, that I got it taken care of. I I used the the HUD defense with the judge where I told him, well, I live in HUD and I'm I'm a veteran. I have to go to the alley. He goes, yeah, I understand. And I and I told him, well, you know, I live on a limited income, and he goes, I understand that too. I'm uh, I'm going to sentence you to four hours of community service. So that's what I did. I went and uh, worked on the books, the book sale before the library had their summer book sale. <laughs> Sounds vicious. <laughs> vicious. Oh yeah, I mean, it was vicious. fun. It was fun because they were using uh, uh, people from nursing homes and that, and, and teenagers from high schools, and we we took a break every hour and uh, had chicken croissants and all the snacks we wanted. <laughs> And when I went back to court and told the judge that, he had a good laugh, too. <laughs> yeah, it's always good when you have a good... I mean, there, there's, some, there's some decent judges out there that actually see the big picture, and they're like, you know, they're not going to... Throw you the book. Throw, yeah, throw the book at you, or, or, or just, you know, unreason, be unreasonable. You know that one... You've seen that one judge in Providence that keeps... that he's super popular. He's in, in Rhode Island. You ever seen that guy? No. Mm-hmm. Awesome. You just have to look up like Rhode Island Judge on Facebook, on a, a YouTube. And he's just like the ultimate fucking good judge. Like you can tell, like he he he. See, but you can tell also if you're an asshole, he's gonna fuck you up. You know what I mean? Right. But he is so much on point. Like there's guys with speeding tickets that, you know, and went through red lights or did something, and in the end, he's like, he's making them like they're they're ready to get fucking oh we're gonna get done, you know, and right. all of a sudden he throws it at him like. Like what? Like he's actually totally on their side. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's cool. You should see. That's a good one. I mean, I watch Judge Judy. To oh, that is not feel a good, that's, better that's about my best. life. You know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so, so besides uh, being on, how'd you get called in for that? That's kind of like they what, they chose us, me. You know they. Whoever explain you, explain the premise of the whole show because it was pretty uh, much the, like the premise of the whole show, and it was explained to me that they they were basically talking to oddball political parties. Yes. So that That's exactly you, you know, it. just before election time, and they they threw it in at you know election election day or night, and uh, it, it it worked well. I had a good time doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, but I, they, I, how they found me, I have not a clue. You know, I got a phone call one day, and that I'm just the producer for you know Jim Jeffrey's show, and we'd like to fly you to California and, and be on the show. And I'm like, well, what's the show about? And he said, oddball political parties. And I said, okay. <laughs> so who else did he have on there? He had the uh, the rents too goddamn high oh, yeah. guy, uh-huh. and uh, he had a, a, a libertarian that was. Pretty straight lace, and he, you know, but he had he, he had his wrap down, and then they had the American Party woman, and she 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 said everything's gonna go hip hop, hip hip hop's gonna drive the you know the world. Really? Wow! <laughs> you know, well, you must have looked you must have looked like the the sanest one of all of them at the end. Of uh, the I, they were I, like, hey, this guy. You know, it it was it was fun. Man. Man. I played him as much as he played me. He. he he, he cut me short. He, he, at the beginning, I was explaining the beginning of the oh, marijuana I can't even, party. I, he's such a he's such a difficult, hard person to like. Keep it, he has he has it. he has his bell. Yeah, you know, and he dings you, oh, and, yeah. and he goes, "Are you high?" And ding, yeah. you know, and and that was it. And <laughs> but but later on, you know, I got I got to get my points out. I got to talk about the, the beginning of the party and. And a few other things about voting. It when I got to make my last things, I said, "I don't care who you vote for, get out there and vote." You know, it's all about voting today. Yeah, it was perfect timing because I mean, it was like a, it was a good episode to now, be on because it was like right there at the at the moment. Uh, you know, and it, it was. 
Well, uh, it's always good to see when, you know, like, because for a while we were, it was almost too much where we, every, we knew everybody who was at, at that moment, the ones, because it was like Colorado was such a focus. And we, we were getting too much press at one point, you know what I mean? But now it seems like we're getting a lot less. So I was like, at least someone's getting some fucking press around here that's making something. But yeah, it was a... Uh, there was a moment in time where Colorado was getting just like saturated, just like Amsterdam right. used to, where you'd see like, yeah. you'd be like three reporters would come in and try to do the same story in a row, and you'd just be like, so unoriginal, like everything, you know, because that's the problem is that people come in and get a snapshot of the moment in time of the thing, and it seems so dated every time you see, by the time it gets printed, unless they print right. it in like a newspaper and it's the next day, but usually a lot of times they go and they work on it and they do this and they do that, and by the time they, you read it, you're like, Oh, these guys don't even exist anymore. <laughs> like this fucking shop that they they're don't, gone. they're gone, or this, yep. they, those guys split up, or you know whatever, because the industry changes so fast, and people don't really. How about when I moved here in two thousand nine, before licensing everything? Right. I mean, we're talking a whole other world. Backpackers could come in, and that's when it was nice yeah. when people would grow in their four and five lights or eight lights and bring some real quality to the table. Got real commercial real quick too. Yes, it did. You know. And took a lot of the culture away of what everybody started. Well, that's that's the, the the scary thing is that you know you got these Canadian companies that that want to put a lot of money into America. That it's they've already actually put money into America to to have large grows. Uh, we, the farm bill is is going is going to get signed, and that that has a three percent, you know, the point three percent. Uh, THC level that basically the state of Colorado had it has in their uh, constitution, right. so that uh, things you know the, the hemp industry is going to really boom. It oh yeah, no, it's it, it, it's what I've been telling people for fucking since I got here was like, hey guys, you know that's the thing, and that's, that's the real thing. And, and and the funny part is that people now get it because. Uh, I'm buying, you know what I mean? Like, right. your shit would be... Right. You'd still get, a like, a piece here and there that might be all right, but for the most part, you've mashed up most of it. Right. And, of course, everyone's turning it into isolate, so they don't give a fuck. You know, they have this idea, like, all right, well, you know, just beat it up the whole way. Right. But I think in the long run, what... I mean, how much snake oil is on the market right now? That's a question, because I get people that ask all the time, <laughs> what's the best CBD company? I personally feel you got to have the full spectrum. Yeah, and, you know. and, and yes, it's like you, you, have, you have full or broad spectrum or, you know, and the 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 idea of it being, uh, it has to be local. That's the main thing. It's, it's kind of like anything. Like the best uh, the best thing is within 100 fucking, you know, right. meters or, or, you know, within 100 miles for sure. Um, and in, even though isolate is pretty much like, you know, what most people are thinking about now, right. if you think about, I think distillate is going to become king as far as like, use it like when you use it it works you know once you turn it to isolate it kind of like kill like it doesn't strips it a little bit yeah it doesn't lose it loses a lot of the magic you know what i mean right. because maybe then you could take it and put it into products that 
want to claim to have CBD, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So I think there's going to be a probably less focus on that in the future. Right, right. now, it's like that's all people want. That's you the know? craze. But like you said, it, it, CBN. I, I was down at the Chris Kringle Mart down at on the 16th Street Mall, and one booth had a great big banner saying CBD. <laughs> You know, and it's they're supposed to be selling Christmas stuff. I guess that CBD is the new stocking stuffer. Christmas, yeah, yeah, Christmas something, something, something. whatever. <laughs> CBD. <laughs> we didn't say that kind of CBD. Now, but you see, uh, it's like CBD flags. I see on the so many. I see on the side of the road now. It doesn't even like. Well, how many companies? That's it's like it could be like. Keep up with it. What well, could be like a liquor store? It could be a fucking gas station. It could be a. Oh, it's everywhere already. Any, in Miami, when I was in Miami, it was like, you know, like, I went to, I went with my friend, and she's like, I gotta go pick up, so she, I think she was, uh, she was going to one of those, like, one, like, a head shop in this one spot, and we parked our car, and I, I'm like, there's a liquor store right there with a huge CBD sign in the window, like, bigger than the liquor store part, you know, I was like, Crazy. like, I was like, Crazy. I thought that's where we were going, you know, and then she ended up, oh, she was getting Kratom, that's what she was gonna get, but then she's like, no, it's over here, so I went over to this other spot across the street, <laughs> And I was like, I was looking around, I was like, we're in Miami. It was like, every other shop had, C- it was like the whole street was just CBD, CBD or alcohol or tobacco or, you know, just all vice, like right. vices. I wonder what the demographic of their clients are. Are they, are they, are they elderly, you know, that flock to Florida? You know, are they, they, are they low income people? Are they, you know, the this pe- place is people bright. In, this in the offices that don't want people to know that they buy the stuff so they... They do it like they, they used to buy their weed in, in the alley. And I believe people might be selling CBD in the alley, too. Well, the thing about it, though, I think, too, is, like, you, you, you see how, it, again, like, the source material has got to be good. But I think even, with, even here in Colorado, you'll see, like, for every, you know, 1,000 pounds of shitty material, there's 100 pounds of good material, you know, maybe out there. Because there is a lot of people growing just swaggy material like we get it because when we get when we pro- process for people uh at different labs that i was uh helping out we we'd see you'd see so much because everything comes out in the wash you know what i mean right. it doesn't matter what you do like right. oh yeah it's and here's our coa and here's this and all this oh, yeah, whatever like whatever. this piece of paper means exactly. nothing right no. now like no. let's do it take 100 pounds right run it you know, this is for like an ethanol wash or something. Anyway, we'll run it, and then we'll have numbers. It'll make a lot of sense, you know. And at the end, you see like it takes, you know, forty, an average of about forty pounds to produce one kilo of ice. Wow. Lime. So forty pounds of biomass equals one kilo. So if you start doing the math like that and looking at it, but then you know you get back. Oh, this one did, you know. 1.3 right. and this one did they're not going to return all the same so no of course not and so then you match those numbers up and in the end you see how people just bolt and there's so much smoke and mirrors and bullshit that's the thing is about the hemp game right now is like cbd is king but cbn see well those other cannabinoids are going right. to come and follow but that not that whole side of it that, that the, just the medicinal which you can't say medicinal <laughs> the uh the non-recreational but Therapeutic, whatever side, that whole thing is gonna is gonna always be there, but it's not the biggest part of the picture again. So again, like, hello guys, like biomass, fucking real biomass, right. like growing hundreds of thousands of acres. Then you can start to think, because that's the problem is right now we can't compete with all this other shit because it's like, right. it's real, it's like real waste streams. We're trying to, you know, trying to compete with other people who are. Uh, making lumber, you know what I mean? And then they end up with piles of sawdust and then they squish the sawdust and turn it into fucking boards or whatever. Right. And then you come in and go, I'm going to make cheaper board out of no, hemp. And not, like, nothing's wasted. Yeah, nothing. And so we got to get to that point where we're growing so much hemp that we got all this waste material sitting around. Because that's when you, you know, it's just like when you make your first hash. Like all of a sudden the guy goes, yeah, take it. I don't know what to do with it. Ooh, and you go home and you make God, hash. And me. then And then you show it to them and they're like, what? Yeah. I'll never give it to you again. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, basically, I'm keeping you basically cut yourself oh. off by, by, by showboating and telling, showing what you did. But the reality is everybody throws away, like, you know, it's literally like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Big time. It's a total, the cannabis world's... Once people started doing bubble hash, that was like... No. I remember getting the isolator from the Dam Krieg. Uh-huh. Oh, I mean, 50 euros a gram. This was in 2005. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I know. And it was like... And, that's like 100 bucks back in the day as far as, you know, in our minds. I don't know where Terry's at these days, but... No, he's... Uh, he's the Tusk. 
Petey, Petey is probably listening to the show right I now at is. the Treasure. Ooh, his spot you have, now. You have to go to, if you're in Barcelona, we might as well just, we could do like, like we, let's do a reverse shout out now. Let's start from Treasure Petey in the Barcelona. Uh, if you are there and you just go to, his, go to that Facebook page and just fucking friend them there first. And, then when you, and you spell it, it's Treasure, but it's spelled Treasure, Treasure, T-R-E-S-O-R, right? And uh, if you go in there and you say Adam Dunn show, try to say it to the little bald, skinny, probably stressed out <laughs> Australian guy <laughs> who's in the corner going, "What the fuck? Hey, oh yeah, oh, oh, just tell him Adam Dunn show. He'll be ama- first of all, he'll be amazed because I don't think anybody's ever done it, right? No one's ever pulled no, this off. I don't think so. A bunch, of people, bunch of people went <laughs> to Barcelona. Time. Bunch of people went to Barcelona. And I'd be like, did you go see Petey? Oh, I couldn't do it. It's like, what? Oh, Come on, dude. So Got to support any, the homie. So somebody out here listening to the show is definitely going to Barcelona because that's the way fucking it goes in Stoner World. We, we, all, we all gravitate to the cool places, and that cool place places. Is, is definitely cool. So if you're there, you go check them out. Get your free membership. That's like 35 bucks right there, bro, or more. Ooh. I don't know, 35 euros. 35 euros. Even more. Even more. Um... But we're not doing the rest reverse because I could never do that. My brain, my brain, my brain would just completely melt down. So, because I, I got to save the one for anyway for when he gets here. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, he would be last, okay, as usual. So, Mr. New Millennium is going to be first, Mr. Mr. and Mr. Hold on a second. What? So, oh, you can't do the things. No, but let me. Oh, you don't have them. That's one thing I'm fucking a specialist. Okay, cool. How to sit here and not have anything figured out <laughs> from, okay, from the beginning. New Millennium. New Millennium. New Millennium Nutrients. Uh, go to newmillenniumnutrients.com. Check out their website. Uh, you get that calculator there. You got kind of everything you need to figure out what you need for your micro garden or your mega garden, whatever, whatever size. Commercial applications are awesome with this product. Uh, Lots of gardens all over the country are finally locking in. Uh, you can, like I said, go on their website. You'll definitely see some good stuff there. And uh, check out from their product line if you want to just grab one or two things. I would suggest either the, the if you're if you're near finishing time and you want to just find something good for flushing your plants properly, uh, pick up their winter frost. And if you are in sort of a decision making process, like dude, I don't know, man. I don't even know when I should flip these plants because I'm so sl- I just can't figure it out, bro. You get this stuff called decision. It'll help you out a lot. <laughs> and the decision will give you the insight. Now, a decision is when you want to flip your plants, basically. Aha. And somebody is walking in the room right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get yourself some food. Yeah, there you go. Mr. Two has made it into the building. Uh, <laughs> so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That means the, he can still read. Uh, he can still function, so that's good. I, I don't, because I don't think he's driving, so if he's not driving personally, oh, we got Hazel. People just blowing me up. Let me turn that off. Uh, speaking of Hazel, Emerald Cup, you coming? That sounds fun. When is it? December what? Uh, I think it is the 15th, 15th or 14th or something. 14th, 15th this year. Okay. I want to be out there for it. Uh, you ever been? And for what? Emerald, Emerald, Cup. Emerald Cup. Have you ever Cup? gone? No. Come on. You better go. This is like one of the you don't biggest. Look like, you don't look like you're... This is the this biggest. one of the biggest. No. Come on. They've Big? done a good job. I think they've done a good job. What are you talking about? Does, does, it, does, it, require, does it require biggest. activism? Oh, biggest. 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 Uh, biggest. I thought you said Vegas. I was no. like... I thought you said Vegas no. did a good job. I was like, what are you talking no. about, dude? Vegas never does a good job. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Everyone's at their worst. You can't be your best. You can't be your best if you're at your worst, right? Um, That's true. Emerald Cup is on this 11th or 12th year, I think, isn't it? I don't know. Something no. like that. Something, I, like, something that. like that. Something like that. It's anyway, school. we're going off this fucking... We're going yeah. off the rails. Forget about the Emerald Cup. <laughs> Let's talk about New Millennium. The nutrients you need for your garden. You go to newmillenniumnutrients.com. You go check out their deals. Throw the done deal at them. Pretty much everything we talk about, you can t- contact those companies and just say, I need the done deal, and they will do it for you because that is what... Is being told to all these companies is we're changing up all our different codes and our bullshit from each one. It's just done deal from now on. Done deal. Yeah, it's much easier. Much easier. Um, 
Anybody shop the Very Natural lately? No, that place sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay money to get. You gotta pay money if you want to be talked about in a nice way. It's, it's all bad otherwise. It's oh, how it works man. around here. We don't fuck around. No, but in general, uh, speaking of not fucking around and hitting the mark every time, oh, yeah. and the reputation is is spotless in this town at least, uh, and pretty much everywhere because. The formulas I have just work. Mm-hmm. Incredibles, edibles, and incredible extracts, and incredible. Uh, now they have incredible what? Uh, bath salts even. Don't it's don't it's get all excited. It's the wellness line. I said bath salts. I know. I saw, uh-huh. I saw you get all excited. You're like really. No, I, I, I'm bath just salts? thinking when they were yeah. in, in Windsor. That's all. <laughs> oh, actually, I drove right past fucking uh, Derek's old spot yesterday. I was like going up to fucking uh, Fort Collins and. Go past Harmony Road, well, before Harmony Road, because I, I, I always get confused because I always thought he was on Harmony Road, but he's actually on the road before that one, whatever that fucking road is. And I, as usual, went right past it because he used to have a sign out there. Do you remember when he had the billboard? Yeah. So Derek was one of the first, I, that was one of the first, huh? Yeah. I mean, Derek was like, fuck it, I'm getting a billboard. So he mm-hmm. went out and got a billboard right, ne- right next to his shop. It was pretty awesome. Uh, but those are the old days. Now yep. Derek is running. The, mo- the most successful uh, edibles. edibles company in the world. And it's not an easy task because edibles are one of those fucking things where it's just hard to get right. To get things right takes a lot of effort and work and then keep things rolling and consistent, which is their specialty is consistency, consistency, consistency. Everything's labeled. Everything's fucking... Each piece tells you how much is there. There's no excuses. Can't pretend... Oh, they do a great job. Just got to eat the whole thing anyway, dude. There's no, there's no fucking around. Somebody called today, and that's what I said. Incredibles. <laughs> Even though you had those other... What were those... Like, tell me... Okay, no, never mind. You can't tell me. Cause that would be rude to talk yep. about other people's edibles, wouldn't it? Yes. Unless you say, incredible shit's all over those edibles, bro. Yeah. No, but they, uh, they definitely... Like I said, consistency is the most important thing, and those guys know how to do it. They also grow their own, uh, all their own herb for it, uh, so you know what's going in it. And, and the that's concentrates are fire, man. Concentrates, concentrates are un- unbelievable, are and they have their own uh, they have their own extractor. I mean, you can't go, you, you really can't go uh, like as far as like artisanal, right? This is like we grew it, we made the machine that extracted it, we extracted it, then we then we you know processed it into into candy bars, and then we uh, took other products and turned it into CBD gummies and this and uh, and uh, boom, 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 boom. so it's a you know it's a, a labor of love. And uh, it shows in all their product, which is important. And yeah, yeah. just you can't go wrong with <coughs> Incredibles. I love Incredibles.com website. Check them out. Storefinder, all that. Storefinder is retarded. It's far, oh, sorry, I can't say retarded. Storefinder is very, uh, very busy. No, it's so ridiculous because if you look at it, it's just nothing but Incredible logos all over the entire state. Like there's no room left for roads. <laughs> there's no room left for anything. Right. Okay. And number three, build a soil. Build a soil. Our boy Jeremy, which I hope I didn't miss him because I know he's been on the front range for a little while here. And yeah, I hope he, don't, he goes good back to Montrose and doesn't come on the show. So I'm going to try to get him on next week. Nice. I'll hit him up again. Uh, hopefully not too late. I don't think it'll be too late. I think he did say he's going to be the first week or so, uh, at least in December. But uh, build a soil is your one-stop shop for all the best in IPM products and all the best in... Uh, you know, nutrients, uh, hard to find uh, additives and extras and boosters. And just like, you know, the thing that's great about it, what I love about their products is, um, ha- well, I wouldn't say half because that, that would be a bit ridiculous. Some of their, pro- basically, if I was trapped in a room with all their products, at least I know I could survive on some of those things and actually not die, right? <laughs> but if you got left in a room with a bunch of salt food or a bunch of other stuff, you'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe we're going to die and I have. 4,000 gallons of plant food here that's totally unedible, right? But they have like, you know, powdered fucking coconut and all sorts of good shit. We'd be like, well, at least we've got powdered coconut. So <laughs> it, it would literally be like Bugs Bunny. Do you remember that one episode where, where they're on the, they have the desert island and Yosemite Sam's just got nothing but coconuts? And you, you, I know wayward. I mean, I can't, that, that, I can't be, I'm not the oldest guy in the room anymore. So <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a treat. Usually it's like, what are you talking about, Adam? <laughs> No, you, come on. You, you remember that? I hate coconuts because he's fucking like right. that coconut this and coconut that. And, but anyway, you can survive on this shit. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but you can call Jeremy at eight five five eight seven seven soil. Come on into. Oh my God, he's here. He's got Wayward as his sidekick now. No, just come on, Wayward Bill. What are you talking about? Oh, dude, that was funny. I gotta say, hit the rock. That was awesome. 
Uh, <laughs> TV. That was hilarious. All right, get on the Jay. Get down that. on the mic. Shut the hell up. Uh, we don't want to hear your mumbling in the background. No. Yeah. I told you going to be a ruckus. I told everybody when you come in the room, it's going to be a ruckus. Yeah. We got two more spots These are here, real quick. Forms. What's that? We got two more. Oh, spots. I know we do. Yeah. I know. Okay. We're. Okay. So no talking while I'm talking while I'm doing my ads. Shush. You shush. You shush <laughs> over there. Fluff your ads up. Yeah, no, no fluffing. Please don't fluff. Just, just chill. <laughs> just chill. You can do some mi- minor fluffing here and there. <laughs> uh, so, Jeremy, build a soul. 855-877-SOIL. Oh, yeah, you can talk about Jeremy, though. Oh, build a soul oh, rocks, Yeah, because uh, I knew you loved Jeremy. Hands been, yeah, Okay, that's good. So you, but can't, you can't come in and be all... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I know you love Jeremy, so that's good. I think everybody... Uh, think good every, people. Yeah. I highly recommend build a soul. Good, good. Yeah, exactly. So... Um, just once again, done deal. Give them a call. Pass that along. All right. Uh, Green Farms. Green Farms. Greenfarms.co. JW. What's that? JW. 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 Uh, he is pulling off some pretty awesome crops right now, though, with uh, full no till in, you know, indoor crops, too. Not like even greenhouse or anything, but indoor, no till. And yeah, he's dialing. It's Definitely down there. Buffalo was dope. I just started mixing it up. Worked well. Buff- and also repping Buffalo. He already owns Buffalo now. So that is in the entire line. And uh, there's also a soilless version. Uh, was well, basically it's, it's, it's Buffalo, but it uh, uh, can be replaced for all your pro mix and stuff like that. They have that mix also available. And you also, if you live here in Colorado, you go to Louisville and you go to the Green Cove Feed and Seed. Uh, uh, hydroponic. Sh- well, we used to be called the hydroponic shop. If you know, look that up, you'll find the address. If if it doesn't pop up as Green Feed and Seed because they just changed it, so so it's totally the opposite. It went from hydroponics to earthworms and fucking organic all the way. So you get all your best organic products from them, or you can go to um, greenfarms.co and check out all the above. And there's links to everything. And if you live in Colorado Springs, you can go by their uh, medical shop. Uh, and you have if you you have to have both. You have to live in the or not live in the springs, but live close enough to the springs that it's kind of within your reach. Or if you happen to be there, but you also have to have a medical card. So you obviously probably live in Colorado, I would assume at this point. Otherwise, you got some skills, some unknown skills. But uh, check out their shop and check out some of their beautiful, like I said, no-till, uh, totally organic and grown with ferments too, which is dope from the plants, made from their own plant cannibals. Yes. It's cannibalistic. It's cannibalistically good. Yeah. Canna. I used to want to like start that. a oh, company Canna, called Canna. Cannibalistic. Yeah. yeah. That was a good name for a brand. Oh, bro. Quick. Everyone's running out. See, this show is literally that. There's the guys who sit around and just wait around, and they just sit on the phone and go, yeah, go daddy this, motherfucker. Woo. Oh, yeah. He should be here yeah. any minute. He yeah. was right behind. <laughs> oh, speaking of him. <laughs> He's right behind? Uh, I don't know. He said he had to go to the hotel. Of course. Of course he did. Is it just him or... Yeah. Uh, no Duke today, huh? Did Duke, Duke come up there? Nope. No Duke. He said, Duke. He, he said he looked too much like uh, like he just crawled out of a cave. So That's the look. It's ex- that's exactly what we expect. We don't expect anything, but he just has to throw a baseball hat on that and you'd be good. Because <laughs> 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 then he got the cooter. He got like the eh, kicker, yeah. Remember cooter? Yeah, from uh, yeah. Duke's and Hazard. Yeah, just put it. Fucking, he's got the overalls. He's got it all, dude. He could. You got the tooth, though. You. I don't you, have the tooth. Actually. That's what I mean. So yeah, you, you no, have the cooter tooth. I did at one time. You have the lack of thereforth cooter tooth. It's bringing me. Yeah, it looks good. Though. Uh, no, it's not fit. Let's not forget our ads because it's the most important thing. See, yeah, we're just like Jim Jeffries on our ads that we don't take take them seriously. Nobody takes their ads seriously. That's the one thing. If you're in the podcast world and you put your ads out there through a podcast, don't expect that guy whether it be me or anybody to ever do them properly because that seems to be the, the ticket right like who can fuck up the most ads possible this guy hey right here uh, speaking of fucking up ads let's go <laughs> move on to what? seats here now no Wallace Wow oh yeah see I fuck it. man wallacewow.com Ron Wallace the man with the plan and the Rhizosphere Jam? Yeah, something. You know who I'm talking about. Mr. Ron Wallace, the giant pumpkin guy. Come on. Oh, right on. Yeah, oh, I told you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, if you go to... Uh, hey, if you fly into Rhode Island, the first thing you see when you go down the fucking thing to get to the to your car is you, there's this big fucking lit up sign and it's like, the world's largest pumpkin grown right here in Rhode Island. Big picture of Ron and his pumpkin. You're like, yeah, that's my bro right there. It's awesome. 
Uh, but if you have any, uh, if you want to be growing, if you're getting into growing no-till, if you're into the idea of uh, fully organic and you want to produce the best uh, rhizosphere in your root zone, uh, you got to contact him at wallacewild.com. Tell him you want the done deal. You need those, I need those microbes. I need those microbes. Uh, he'll get you hooked up. And uh, again, like small, small family run deal, but the best of the best and proves it every year wins what's going on you got some problems we got issues oh beers oh you saw the beer see that it was like a fucking her i know i saw that he got he, look can't even can't think can't think we're back to the peyote ceremony guys this is it he saw oh my gosh two will be back after his beer um, it was a game of telephone Wallace <laughs> but wallacewild.com if you uh, again like contact them and uh, we'll get him on the show again soon now that his season's over he knows he did he got some pretty he got he plays pretty high this year he didn't get uh, world records but he placed placed pretty high at 2,000 he averages like 2,000 pounds on his pumpkins Ooh, that's yeah. a good average he don't fuck around he don't fuck around it's the biomass bro. 2,000 pounds um, all right, and finally, last but not least, the guy who's right behind two and will probably roll in right on time. This is this was this. If he rolls in now, it's the most amazing thing ever. It's like we timed it pretty damn good, but he probably won't because he went all the way to his hotel because that's the kind of guy he is. He has to, he's got to go home, come back. Who are we waiting on, Adam? We're waiting on the man himself, James Bean, man on the scene. Ooh. James Bean, man on the scene. Yeah, uh, he is here live in the Adam Dunn incredible studio of the day. <laughs> this is a good studio. This is a good studio. Look at this. Except, for nice. the, except for the fact that you got to get your face right on the mic or else you're going to sound like you're in a fucking swimming pool. Got to get close. There you go. Yeah, you got to get close. Just figured it out. Got to get close. <laughs> Two's not. Two's going to talk like five feet away from the mic the whole day. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Get real close to the mic. Are these M40s? I don't fucking know. Oh, dude. There's one. <laughs> Huh? Is, that a, oh, is there a problem? Like that. Yeah. Adam's oh, a in there. <laughs> what, you need one now too? Yeah. Oh my god. These I was going to. See, I'm so good. Still going? Such a... <laughs> what, you're done? No. You toast? No. Nope. Okay. Empty. That's what I mean, you're toast. Yeah, you I apologize, toast. I wasn't. Uh, you you're a terrible guest host. Oh, guest host. Oh, uh, closest one to the door. So uh, we're announcing Seeds here now. We're hoping he rolls in. This is, we're, still in the, we're still in the commercials. But you're allowed to talk about James. Much as you want. I don't really want to talk. I mean, he's cool. <laughs> I don't want to talk. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's good. Yeah, good people. He's, he should be here soon. And he, he just, he just made me do all kinds. He made me some playing cards. That's kind of cool. Did he? Yeah. Oh, really. Bust out your playing cards. Let's talk. Oh, uh, we're still in the ads. Finish the ads. No, we're, we're, yeah, but we're, we're allowed to talk about, uh, because now it's Seeds Here Now, so we can this can turn into the longest Seeds Here Now ad ever created. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. He made me these cards with all my strains on them, so I know what they are. Nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. so other people know what they are. Flash cards, so is Oregon. Yeah. Oh. But uh, that's pretty cool. No, yeah. And you got all of them? I didn't get all. All right, we're back. It's a complete snargle. Computer crashed. My face froze. Spilled the turps. Forgot the weed. <clears throat> what else went wrong? Everything went wrong. It was, good. it was a good everything goes wrong at the one second second. Chuck got lost. Nice. Chuck got lost. He's never coming back. That was the end of Chuck. And uh, Seeds Here Now has not arrived, and we're still doing their commercial. Like We extended this commercial to the maximum that we can. Oh, and look at you. You got jars. I brought the ugliest weed. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. The king of the ugly weed. King of the ugly weed. That doesn't mean it's bad. Right? Ugliest. I mean, I do my best. You're trying to beat Bodie. You're trying to beat Bodie now. You're like... Bodie. Actually, I almost yeah. didn't trim it. I was just going to bring in these, like, you know, just pieces of weed like this. With, you know. He's an inspiration. Mm -hmm. They smell bad. You ever see, ever meet him? 
He yeah. always like pulls out. He's got that little bag, his magic bag, and he pulls out like turkey bags just with two foot long nuggets that are, I don't know, super awesomely untrimmed. <laughs> super awesomely untrimmed. Perfect description. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait for James to come and talk more about his specials and all his other cool shit. Uh, all you gotta know, all you gotta know about Caesar now, though, is guaranteed uh, germ, guaranteed. You know that you're happy with them. Uh, great policy, super tight company, deals with everybody. Idiot like this guy. So we know. Hey, I was one of the first. Thank you. <laughs> I was one of the first idiots. Yeah, uh, I know. I know. <clears throat> well, you know what it is. What? Oh yeah. That, okay, good. You figured. Oh, it. I got a couple of them. Yeah. So like some of the longer stuff didn't finish out. Like the, this is the Durban. Uh, and that looks like that has a real Durban vibe to it, as far as shape, 100 percent, like right out of the gate. Uh, this like, could be oh, the nice and tight. I think that's the Wadi Ram from Jordan. Uh, that'll put you down. What else we got? Oh yeah, and James just uh, got restocked with all our gear and the Land Race collection, which we were going to talk about sometime. Yeah, you can take up the uh, majority of the uh, seeds here now, commercial space time with your specials and talk about those if you want. If you know what you're, if you know what he's going to have. Or there was a check-in question for you too. Oh, even better. Uh, so they wanted you to talk about the electric lemon G and uh, the R4. Okay. Uh, well, the electric lemon G was just the G3 lemon G13 that um. It was pretty cool, actually. I was sitting there uh, at my house and I was watering the plants. They were up on a, a shelf that was tubbed out with, uh, you know, that nice thick pond liner. And then there was like a heating mat on top. And so, you know, so I was doing an immersion water. And I was immersing it in water. One day I just was like, man, those look great. Rub my, my arm over the top of it and I got shocked. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Was it shock shock or was it just like you felt it kind the of? The super tingly shock. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, hey. And so I grabbed the, the meter. Good, the good one, the good one. Yeah, I grabbed the meter, and it was running like 62 volts to the top of the plant. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is cool. So uh, <laughs> we started, like, I, I rocked with the, the heating mat for a while, and it kept going up. And I'm just thinking, man, this is a fire. This is probably going to, you know, and it was, the, the plants looked healthier than anything. I mean, super thick stalks, like little tiny plants, like just big, you know, everybody, was, everything was working right. So, uh. I ended up uh, talking to the mic too. I ended up buying a um, tens units. Actually, I didn't even buy them. My friend Dominic, he he sells them, so he sent me a bunch of them. And they're like those things you put on your, if you like pull your muscle, you put the little pad here and the pad here, and then you can adjust the frequency and all that. So uh, oh, look, Chuck's coming back. Chucky's coming home to hang out with the boys. All good. Thank you. I'm good. So Chuck has decided to come back. back Look, he's got chicks following him. He's like, oh, man, they want to hang out with Chuck. Oh, let, let Danny come in here. Hi, Danny. Huh? What's the name of the show? Adam Dunn Show. Adam Dunn Show. Oh, like your T-shirt. <laughs> like that dude over there. See, that's, that, that's why I wear the T-shirt. <laughs> Somebody's See, you stuff's know, working. You know, you know you're somewhere where where's people her, really where's her hook up Some at? people can point them to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? All right, that's Adam Dunn. You go this way. She's an honorary blonde, I guess. Honorary blonde. Uh, she's and fun. She's a good girl. Oh, she is. She's cool. She's super cool. <laughs> who, who is that? If you me What's her name? Uh, Danielle. There you go. See, Danny? he knows all the girls. He knows all the ladies' names. You know that. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. You want to know a girl's name, birthday, probably more. <laughs> Ask this man here. So uh, we were going through yet. So yeah, you missed out. Look, he, he busted out, out all these. Oh, we got all the goodies. This, Actually, this, here you want to roll up this Durban? Ooh. Or you got to. Yeah, it finished a little early because we were really short outside. But, uh, and this is the Swazi, the Swazi, dude. This is the one. Huh? I think either the Swazi and the Wadi Ram have similar. Oh wow, that's nice, right? Oh yeah. You want to smoke that? Oh yeah. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> what do you think, Adam? <laughs> Wadi Ram? No, that's the Swazi. Swazi. I think. Oh, this is different Swazi Kino, or. The, oh no, this is Swazi, that's a Durban song. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's yeah, like it's, a pre-jack thing, it's weird, right? Like almost like a pre-jack. It's super fresh smelling to me. Terpenoline is what it is. It's terpen terpenoline? It's a terpenoline profile, that one for sure. I'll drop some. I know. I can't say it smells like sage, I'm not allowed anymore. But that smells like sage. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it smells, like, it smells like sage. 
Oh, what's wrong with saying sage? Oh, I get, I get busted. My ball's busted for saying everything smells like sage, but that does smell like sage a little bit. It's got the same. That's on that side of the, the profile. It's a, and, and that's why I can identify as torpedoly because that's what sage is. I think when I first got here in 2009, it was ISS, uh, Fort Collins Cough, Blueberry, and one other one I can't think of, but those are like the four most popular. You know. Yeah, and we were just did the show in Fort Collins yesterday, and it was like, I mean, up there, it's for, it's the Foco Sage, the Cough, you know, those things just... That place is nice. I was just up there. I mean, it took a, that little, the jog up the mountain was a little scary, but... Come on. Well, it coming down, it was like snow. <laughs> coming down, oh, was, coming down snow. Yeah, and I don't yeah, see real well at night driving yeah, around. Yeah, it could have been scary, because it was definitely, it's twisty right there. Yeah, right there. Right there, at the <laughs> twist. At the twist, of course. What they twist. Uh, so we got what Durb and Swazi. The Swazi I like definitely. Uh, uh, here's some uh, little bit of Lashkar Ga. That was the one that we used for the mail and the cross. That's like the actual. That's a real indica. I know people are like, there's no such thing as indica, but like literally that thing grows this tall, fat leaves, giant, hashy smelling buds, turns purple, is early. <laughs> like it, you know, it, it's everything in that you would describe as. How long does it go? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight, maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a couple more days, but. So and color wise, awesome. just very, uh, uh, very indica. I don't know. Okay, be that short. there we go. <laughs> no, it's just a real indica. From yeah. this comes from uh, Lashkar Ga means uh, fortress. So wow. it's like a super protected area around in the mountains. And this has like been sitting there. They actually, this is the only place they still smoke weed in Afghanistan instead of making it into hash. Wow. <laughs> I got the best frozen face at the end of the last show. Yeah, that was uh, Tony Baloney posted that up. Nice. In the Adam Dunn nice. group. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm known for my f- frozen faces. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so, so anyway, the electric. So uh, we bought tens units and started shocking the plants a little more, and we noticed we could, like, uh, like, I, like you could turn them up. So I had to give it bugs to check this out. So you give them bugs, and then you turn up the plant, the turn up the thing, and you could just control the bugs like remote. Like that, the more, the more energy you put behind it, the faster they go, and then you could slow them way down. And then if you turn them all the way up and spray them, they just explode like little capacitors. So I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then you know I started doing all this research, finding out that, I mean, this is a, a technique called electroculture. If it's something you're interested in, that's what you Google, and it's all about running. Not Tesla ponics. Well, we don't have a website of no, but that's what we called that. Yes. But at the same time, that was the the, the it's called electric culture, so and it's pretty cool technique. Uh, like back in the say like the 1930 World Fair somewhere around there, this dude grew. He he took a two plates, ran them north and south in his uh, field, like a big field, uh, and ran like a pole, and then wound wire up with the rotation of the earth, like what was that like. Counterclock, whatever, whatever the hell the Earth spins. I'm not even thinking. Whatever. About. Well, you're a flat earther anyway, so who? No, I am not. <laughs> you don't even uh, believe it spins, do you? Huh? You don't even believe it spins, do you? And what? I said you don't even believe that it spins, do you? You just kind of think it kind of rotates. Doesn't it just float? It uh, float? We're on turtles, right? Isn't that what it is? Yeah, square. <laughs> That's square. right. It's a square. It's a cube. Square. It's a cube, bruh. It's a cube. Anyway, it's but so uh, sorry to blindside you with the flat Earth comment because I know that really gets to you. I want to actually. There's a convention <laughs> coming up, and I kind of want to. Those are the same guys that were at my place. You gotta stay real calm and not. That like, was wanna... my place two years ago. Whatever it was. Oh, yeah. You remember the flat Earthers? That was last year. Yeah, last I year, about was that last I didn't year? go to it, but oh, you didn't come. I didn't come. Oh, bro, <coughs> I was there the day. Before. I didn't know about it. That was the last. Oh no, but... that was last year because I was at the Metlo. Exactly. Yeah, that was the last yeah. film show, right? Uh huh. Was that at the that was at the Metlo? Yeah, it was at the Metlo. It was the first like week in the Metlo when I first got there. Yeah, I learned I learned on the, it was the last week at the it was the last week at on at, the uh, internet. So, do so. not argue with them. <laughs> they will troll you to death. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Just, oh, you mean the the flat Earth? I was like, yeah. that Metlo will tr- troll you? I was like, it didn't make sense. I was like, oh, flat Earthers, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, they, obviously they have some troll capability there. If you're if you're a flat Earther, you're. you're doing they, they, they booted me that's, off. That's, yeah, I got booted time. from the group. That, that's from living on the edge. <laughs> None of them have seen the edge, Bill. <laughs> that's the issue. Yeah, the world is a big pizza. <laughs> what are we puffing on here? I don't know. Nice. That's some cushions. Oh, okay. Kushage. Nice. Kushage. Um, well, I knew it kind of smelled like sage. Yeah, there's some here. <laughs> Check her out. But yeah, so we just ran current through it and, it, and it really did increase the metabolic, you know, activities of the plant from, like, bacterial breakdown to root growth to 
like thick ass leaves. And then we tell us about. So in the beginning, though, when you didn't have a clue what the fuck you were doing, just throwing electricity through, was it? Um, were you seeing a response there that was positive, or was it just like more after the? I think the heating mat was like the best response. And then once we went to the tens unit, it drops down the voltage to like nine. I think you could probably push like with no amperage because that kills stuff. You could probably push like a hundred thousand watts through a plant without it even thinking about it. You know what I mean? Like, and I bet it'd grow. Okay, so yeah, World Fair, 1930. Dude put plates in the end of his field, poles running up, wound it with wire, oh, yeah, and with grew that, like that's, that's he grew we're. ten foot tall clovers. I mean, like I'm talking like a clover, man. Wow. They grew ten foot tall. So maybe ten that's what tall. Tesla had going down in the springs. Maybe he was getting ready to do some big farming down there. Yeah, he was getting ready for the for the legalization in a hundred years, <laughs> eighty years. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely something to be said with all living. We're electric. All You're electric. living. All living things are going to get a response from it. So it's a matter of harnessing it and uh, making it work to your advantage. And and I mean, it, for anyone I've, that wants to do this I've out there, a, I've had a lot of times where I've been like. Certain pumps just fucking shock you. You know it's going to work. Yeah. You know, you're like, ah, well, it's that pump. You know what I mean? So then I know every time I touch the fucking reservoir, I'm going to get a, just a little buzz. I'm not going to get, like, blasted. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, and so uh, with plants, of course, uh, if, if you can, if it doesn't hurt them and it can actually fucking stimulate them in any way and you can for bug repulsion it's just fun it's just like when it's like like you were saying before it's like it's just nice to know that you got you, you're doing something pro- proactive at that point but like all, all the beneficial bugs too just ran for the hills right so they Do you know what i mean so it wasn't like it was like awesome man now we're yeah of course it's like yeah, oh, we just we, away yeah we just got rid of all of uh, yeah <laughs> all living things <laughs> do you have tips over there uh, oh i have some somewhere there you go Keeping it flowing. <laughs> he knows what we need. He's like, we're going to need tips. We're going to need tame. We're going to need this. Um, so how's it been down at the TSK headquarters? Oh, it's good. Um, everything is full of elk. Like, I can't, I can't. So much elk, I need to buy another freezer. Uh, I got a big, a, a big ass roast in the, in the car. I'm just kind of, I know you want some. Uh, yeah, could we get, they got a kitchen, man. We could carve out some uh, some steaks here when we're done. I mean, it's nice. They, I, they cut it right off the leg. Like the, I was like, hey, I went down to the butcher. Like, hey, man, can I get some meat for my friends when I go up there? And he's like, yeah, just cut me like this you fifteen talk. pound roast. Like, yeah, just cut it up into steaks, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's getting colder down there, so um, we're about to launch the because we can turn on the lights now. So we we're about to do the hemp breeding next week. Put them all in there and start them up. We're I got the samples in the car. We're probably gonna feminize them just cause uh, nobody wants any male hemp plants, really. Not this round, you know? And we're gonna, one of them's gonna be the non-detectable, so we're, or maybe two of them. We're gonna work on that. And, and uh, which, what are you gonna, what are you gonna hit that with? Like, is that, gonna, is that basically a male that does that, or is that? Well, we have a male, and I think we got a female floating around there. Uh, we got some stuff from Dutch. It's top secret. He won't tell us what it is. Mm-hmm. And I, he gave it to me, and uh, he was like, you can breed with this. Don't give any of these away. You know, keep the moms. Go ahead and breed with it. So we, we picked out a couple really nice phenos. Of the, we call it the Dutch Masta. I'm going to need your help naming some Dutch strains. Because he, he was like, just name it after me. So we gotta, I got to start calling like the wooden shoes or, you know what I mean, clogs. or Just, just name it after me. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, just name the plant after me. I'm like, okay, so it's the Dutch master. How does that sound? But uh, so we're going to launch that, and then Hempen's like coming back like in full force. We uh, we can't keep anything in stock. Like, I can't even, I don't even have enough in stock to be able to start up the social media again because in the, in the, it's just flying out the door. We're pounding out CBD oil, like just killing kilos, man, knocking them out. I'm up here to grab, that's the only, I mean, well, I came up here to visit everybody, but like definitely came up to drop the hemp off and grab a couple more because we'll probably be out again by Christmas and then we get our, our stuff. We're going to do some, re, um, for the re-release, we're working on new labels, uh, barcodes, all that stuff so we can get up in like, you know, legitimate places. We're building out the lab in the front so it's like a nice clean area to work in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going well down there. It's kind of weird that JW left though because I... 
that dude Chris was really cool. He was coming over for dinner, and now it's just like, damn. They just one day were like, we're leaving, which I can't blame them, man. You've been down there. Now you see what kind of fuckery goes on down there. It's a different world, that's for sure. <clears throat> Definitely. Definitely. But no, it's like you get that, like as you drive around, like you're cut into that little zone where you're at. And even when I was down there with my friend, he was like, some shit goes on around here. <laughs> like you, just, you get that vibe, you know what I mean? You're like, it's like Lawlessville, you know what I mean? People it, are like, when you tell them, like, you go to the grocery <coughs> store, they're like, where do you live? And you're like, oh, San Luis. And they're like, really? Yeah. It's, a little white for that, don't you think? It's, <laughs> like, yeah, you know. It's definitely got some some uh, some action going on. What what state's grown the most hemp right now, you think? Uh, Us? Between here, here, Colorado, in Oregon, here in Oregon, really. Oregon. Here in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon's yeah. difficult because they got all that humidity, you know? Like uh, They grow a lot. They just don't pro- get enough out of it because a lot of it gets to fucked, you know what I mean? So now here is definitely grown the most, I think, at the moment. Um, you know, it's uh, Colorado's, It's it's got some areas that it, it'll work for sure, and... Uh, but it's not really, we're not really an ag place, you know what I mean, by right. any means. So, right. We're like a high <coughs> desert, you know. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of like how Holland is growing, with Holland growing all the weed back in the day. It's not a good place to grow weed, really. It's like it just happens to be the place that was cool about it, you know what I mean? So just by politically being cool, we're going to fucking do the best we can do. And you know, pull it's up. nice here because it's dry. It, Nothing it's ever. Dry. Mo- you're that's, not gonna like get a bunch of powdery mildew outside. That's the fucking saving grace. That's the whole thing that makes us like, okay, well at least we don't at least so we can and we can make great extracts, you know, because yeah. it's a perfect place to make extracts. Nice and cold. It's like we're in fucking Nepal or something. You know what I mean? We're like high altitude, dry, great, you know. But but when it comes to the actual keeping terps around and all that, if you're not spilling them on the table like me, that was fucking big mess. <laughs> that was only like a hundred dollars worth of terps. You're fine. I know. Whatever, but uh, yeah, so we're just holding out for the winter down there. It's cool. It's your third year now down there. We're working on our third year. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if we were gonna make it that first year. It was just like, oh my god, what the hell did we move down to? But now we got it down pat. Like, we got kind of a crew down there. There's some nice people trying to help out. You know, some. Uh, well, some you're of close the older to Mexico, people. which is really dope. That's like a fucking. Same yeah, place actually, man. Ta- we go grocery shopping in Taos because um, there's more beautiful women there than there are where I live. <laughs> which is none. Yeah, there are we got none. like the NorCal disease going on. There's not even trimigrants though. You don't even have no. To, you don't even get trimigrants. There's just it. chubby Spanish chicks <laughs> with three kids, man. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Still your life. Oh. And they're like 25, but they still have three kids. It's oh. really weird. I don't know. So, but Taos is nice. You so, go down there, you got those. So, so what are we smoking here? I this, think that's the Swazi. Swazi, okay. Yeah. Is what you roll. And it could the 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 Wadi Ram has a, a similar kind of thing. So. If you get really stoned, then it was the Wadi Ram, and I apologize. That shit fucks me up. Like the Wadi, like the Swazi gets you up. The Australian, oh, that could be Australian. How is that fifteen footer or whatever? How big was it? What's that? Is that the Giganticus, whatever it is, or no? What the ones that we have? No, the Australian one. Yeah, because I know we had that. Oh, the Australian's great, and it's the most up buzz I've like ever smoked. You smoke like a half a joint, and you got to get up and like, hey, what are we doing? Um, but all the plants that started. Like all the land races started are those from the seed. huge ones, the big ones, or no? Yeah, the Durbans, the Swazis, and the Australians grow just magnificent, man. They root balls are super solid, like plants just a giant bush. Like they're like eight feet tall. You know what I mean? Like just giants. And uh, oddly enough, the Swazi, the Australian's a little longer flower, but that Swazi and Durban finish off pretty quick. And uh, we're going to run them real hard inside right now. We got them running now. It's weird. We got this room with all, like, all the plants in there, there's only two real weed plants, you know, like one mango Afghani and one OG, and the rest are all just... Hemping out. I don't know, land races and oh, stuff. Oh, land races. Well, that's weed. We're just going to save that's them. Weed. That's weed. Yeah, but it's not like, <laughs> it's not fancy weed, you know? Hey, exotic, bro. But that's where it all starts. <clears throat> so what's up with uh, James? He's just fucking like, he's going to go home, take a shower, relax, have a dinner, come here after dinner. I don't know. He, we, we, we pulled over into a, a Wendy's parking lot, and I thought he was going to Wendy's. I don't really eat Wendy's. So I was like, okay, what are you doing? And he's like, well, i got to go to the hotel. So I was like, all right, well. So I backed into a tree and then took off. What? Yeah, I can't see real well at night. Okay. <laughs> like, I, like, I just can't. Like, the, when people are, like, when there's lights coming at me, my eyes don't, like, adjust all the way. And I Note to self. Don't, don't yeah. drive with two. Well, as long as it's lit up like this, I'm fine. But if it's, like, dark and then there's, like, 
I don't know. It seems like everybody drives with their brights on or something. Colorado is not a great place if you have that kind of problem because there's yeah. stretches of just shitty, no good light anywhere, and you're like, uh, like can't just elk see. jumping across the road all over the place. Yes, sir. Well, the elk are worse. Yeah, deer. You know, deer take deer will take you out, but elk really. <coughs> oh, we got wild horse mesa. So when you go to Taos and you come back up in the dark, there's just all of a sudden like twenty fucking horses standing there in the middle of the street. You're like, oh, cool, move. Or cows. There's like you know that's traffic down there. We got cows on Sunday. <laughs> I have to chase cows out of the yard. Like the alarm house alarm will go off. You look and there's like cows in the front yard. You gotta go chase them out <clears throat> before they screw up all the, the lawn and shit. So uh, let's get Chuck into the conversation. Yo yo yo. You just went to uh, yep. full no till, didn't you? Oh. Nope. No. The last time I saw you, you said you were putting in beds. Uh, we were. Yeah, we had the, we had the beds down there at the garden. That's what we do. Is See, always high. Living soil. He's too high. He got one hit. Sorry. How's that working? I mean, they look no. nice. I saw that. So they're doing good. Um, you Don't know, look so, so I was enthusiastic. I was uh, worried about bugs and all kinds of stuff. But honestly, they've really done a good job. The crew at keeping up with everything. I mean, we reamend the soil, so you know, it's everything's green friendly. Uh, it's. You know, it's been nice, man. All organic is hard to find these days. You know, it, it's the plant gets to take what it wants from the soil, I feel. You know, it's not like mainlining it with the synthetics, you know. Over and, it real easy. And, and full organic is hard for anybody to claim. Let's get real, Jesus, know? what are you doing over there? I don't know. I got a squeaky chair. You can't, you can't sit on I'm, a chair. I'm, I'm in the between the tiles. Oh, my God. I knew it would be something. I'll be all right. It's all right. We had another chair. Oh, another, another, another episode. <laughs> That's another episode. Yeah. And on the next episode, episode, two tries to sit in a chair for it's more than 20 eight. fucking minutes. Come yeah. on. Come on, guy. So, uh, no till style. So, you're basically doing like you're, you're doing like amended soil, with, but you're not, you're not tearing it all up and like replacing it though so you're basically doing right no 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 at the end we we reuse it we don't we recycle but it but do, do you you pull do it out you, you turn it and then you turn it and put it back in yeah so exactly. it's like so a, it's not no till not no till but super organic there you go yeah it only takes a second to reestablish all that shit. exactly you just I mean, gotta put the right balance in i mean the thing is it's like uh if you're growing on a greenhouse or if something like that it's a little more reason- reasonable because you're kind of on an indoor outdoor situation right. going on anyway right. and there it's kind of rid- ridiculous to pull it out and put it back in but when you're indoor indoor is really kind of got to be sterile ish right so it is hard to do no till i always i i've always like said like you really have to have your, you literally have to have them on wheels and be able to move them from space to space to like because you can't just, it sucks if you're like, you can't push right. it so hard. You can't be like, oh, I gotta move this 100 gallon pot through a door that's like this big, shit no. like that. So you have to, like, if Once your place is designed in. smart and you could do it, it might be cool. If there's a, there is a way to do it, but to do things commercially without greenhouse and do no till is really hard. Like, that's like, that takes in a. The girl that, uh, Cassandra Maffey, she was the one from Humboldt that actually, this is her system she put in play. And she did a really good job with it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was hard to go, whoa, we're going to have problems, but she proved herself, and she did a really good job How deep are beds, are they? Nice. How deep are the beds? I'd say at least... Two foot? Or? Yeah, four even. I mean, we're not maximizing They're our like beds right, right now. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'd say probably like, sorry, uh, two, two and a half, something yeah, like yeah. that. Um, but <clears throat> we don't really maximize, I think, sometimes how much the roots could really grow out. You know what I mean? And we just had a big conversation down at the grow, and What's nice sometimes thing? it's like when you're going from just buckets and you're putting them in, it'd be nice to give them maybe a week before you flip them right away, just to kind of let these roots establish in the soil, you know? Oh yeah, I mean, whenever it's, you whenever you're transplanting, uh, there has to be a good two weeks of really, in my opinion, to fucking get get used get, to it. Yeah, because they're coming from, uh, you know. 215s and now you're going into double ended bulbs and you yeah, know it's yeah, a shock yeah, for everything whatever, but yeah no it's it's uh there, there's a transition phase you have to, yeah you don't want to fucking overkill them right out of the gate exactly uh, but you I gotta know, get a little little bit of root in there before you start flowering but it's just funny because people grow so different I know guys who just didn't give a fuck they'd veg for one day fucking <sighs> stick you know feed everything salt and just crush every uh, time you know what I mean but it's just like they didn't care and they're not caring is why they got 
they did good weight wise. I don't. Right. I wouldn't say they grew the best weed. Well, that's right. the thing. The weight yeah. everybody's all about these days, and it's like, where's yeah. the quality at? Right. So, you pulled three to eight. Well, where's the quality? Right. You grow lots of mids. You know. Yeah. Exactly. And it's it's just hard to. Well, it's one of those things. It's like a lot of people that that's. I mean, that is the goal as far as to grow. You know, you definitely want to grow. Right. You don't want to decent amounts of weed. You don't want to grow. But we all. Keep, but we know the boutique strains don't yield that much either. So not usually. You know. No, you know, and and again, you give you give and take, right? So right. if you're gonna have a high yield, you probably lose something, whether it be quality or, or, right. uh, you know, smell Flavor. or terps or yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a balance. So you so you're trying to do organic <coughs> mostly, which is good. There's I'm sure there's a couple here and there that are, like borderline or whatever it's you know it always like anything batches vary right and that's the hard thing i think with running the dispensary is the consistency what's right? your what's your dry what's your drying like that's the, that's the hardest but i think that's where people i think that's where, right you can you can grow a plant for three months and have it beautiful and fuck it right up in the cure especially colorado it's, it's like, so, dry. Here it's so dry like the first crop bro, i did here i was bro. like I didn't even. I wasn't even looking at it for three days, thinking like, ah, "Who cares?" You know what I mean. And then I went to take the fourth day. I was like, "Oh, we, it's too much." We, we did sour <laughs> diesel. Like, what did happen? You we, know, was we, like, ah. we did sour diesel. I said, "Don't sneeze. Nobody sneeze in the room. It's gonna blow <laughs> off." Yeah. You know, hey, it's squeaky, too dry. Like, squeaky McGee over here. Squeaky. You gave me this chair. Oh. I did not. I we, we we fought for this area. We were almost in a in a hallway. Dude, we would have been in a hallway smaller. And we would have people walking past us the entire time, and it would have been very confusing. Not worked out well. This worked out good. We're in the back of the bus. We're, we're going to be the only people here. We're going to be like coming out in the mall and be like, oh, dude, no one's here, bro. We, we got locked in the mall. And we're still waiting on one other guest celebrity here. Super, super celebrity. Well, Texas ass. No. No? Nah. He yeah. had a fast car, so he should have been here before I was. You would think. You would think. But no, no, no calls. No missed calls. We'll let him, we'll let him roll in on his own. So... Um, did, is this all one facility, or you have a couple of facilities that you did this at? Or so one facility right now, twenty five thousand square feet, and uh, we have two retail locations. One's up in Boulder, and one's off East Colfax. Is there a certain soil that you use as your base, or uh, it comes out of Oregon? I cannot think of the name of it right now, but it's out of Oregon. I know that much. It's the secret. The Since secret the last stash. time I saw you, I've turned like everybody's like, "Hey, we're you in Denver? Where's the good weed?" And I'm like, "Verdict. That's it." I appreciate it. You know, that's just organic soil, blah, blah, blah. It's been a process. I mean, you know, here's the thing. I I say go to live well, bro. I thought that was the best. I mean, if you want to. Just kidding. (laughs) Come on. We're not going to say anything. Womp, womp, womp. Um, good. It's all about being respectful to everybody, right? Everybody's doing their thing. But Uh, I think everybody. I used to send it to Sweet Leaf, but, you know. Sweet leaf, you can't send him. I'm just kidding. I know. I would send him over and over and over again, bro. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> if you really, if you really want to rotate out your crop, just go. Yeah. Uh oh, James <laughs> is here, dude. I'll do him this chair, but hold on. Let's, I want you to just try smoking this one. This is uh, interesting. Uh, no, no, you can stay. We, we can let, I was having a nice wayward, conversation with this girl. We're gonna let Wayward go there. so he can go mingle with the ladies because there's like way more ladies came in than, than guys all of a sudden for the first time ever at a weed party. Uh, you want to go, I know, but you're uh, not getting nothing. Saying. He's going to warm him up. He's going he's gonna to be your wingman for the rest of the night. Oh, I don't think <laughs> you. You know you're going to score when you got this guy. You'll be like, oh, man, he knows all the moves. We can like listen by a phonograph. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go listen to some 8-tracks. So, um, 78s. And uh, I'd like to make a closing statement. Yes. For dude. anybody that's not living in Colorado and ha- <laughs> has a... Uh, has, uh, Basically, regulated cannabis. If you don't have the right to grow, you don't have a good law. Everybody needs to work towards its self determination to grow your own cannabis for recreation and for medicine. If you don't get that, you're going to get rolled over by the, the corporations and we'll lose the plant, guys. And we'll have to go back to the underground. That's where I want to go, bro. Underground. I want to go back to the underground. (laughs) Do some raves and shit. That'd be awesome. Right? In fact, I I started playing music again. Break into some warehouses. Throw some fat raves, mate. They take your sound now. You know what I mean? They'll steal your sound system. It's not even fun anymore. And they'll come in with like a SWAT team or something like that. Yeah. And everybody gets, yeah, totally. Been there, done that. (laughs) It's true. True. But we sued Flint, Michigan one time for a million dollars and one because of that. Yeah, uh 
Yeah, it was a good time. Because they came in too hot and heavy with a bunch of fucking tanks or something like that. No, they came in and like were shaking. Like they were, they were. Uh, well, the ACLU was the ones that helped us, so if that gives you any kind of clue. They they were busting out our civil liberties. Never trust a guy named Jello. What? Not Biafra. <laughs> Biafra. <laughs> no, no. Okay, trust Jello Biafra. He's the only hey, one. Hey, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, this year's Okay, my first rule of I'm all guests is if you can't figure here. out how to get to okay. the location or I in the location. Those feet past the cords. You're hardly. <laughs> you're hardly. What, we're going which way? What's going on? I showed up. They said, you look like you belong here. That's it. Don't text me, James. <laughs> I see you, bud. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Wave at him. Comes. Actually, he can text me. I don't really care. So let's try that. Huh? Try that one. This one what is, which one is this one now? I will tell you after you smoke it. We need a lighter. Go. Yeah, sorry about that. It could have, it could have been. F- I mean, it- there he is. Right on time. Oh yeah, missed it right on time. <laughs> yeah, he did go back and he must take a shower and he changed. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, get up out of that chair. Get up out of that chair. All right, hold on. We're doing some rearranging around here. So we're still doing. Is this? Have we been waiting to do the commercial? Have we finished? We haven't finished the seats here now. Commercial yet? Oh. <laughs> I think my chair was there. See, yeah, That's saved. Like going through the tunnel. <laughs> Don't go through the tunnel, that's for sure. Hold on towards the lake, Carol. All right, you got to get those women warmed up for two, all right? You're in first. Yeah, you're in first. He's got to go. a large person, man. They told me that once. Oh, yes, he's the guy who drags across everything across the table as he walks past. And makes a big mess. James Bean, man on the scene James here. James Bean, here back. Yep, at the Thanksgiving. We didn't look at, you have to go, did you go look at the food? Did you grab any food? No, I'll check it out here in a minute. There's going to be no food in a minute, dude. We'll be the last guys here. There's going to be like two scraps. You know I got like a cucumber and some hummus out in the car. I went like studio time on this guy and he's like, uh, I'm going to stop and get some food first or I head up there. I was like, no, no, no. Just get your head now. Come up now. We'll feed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it covered. I had a chicken breast. It's a little yeah. sharp, but what do you think? Oh, hold, on, hold on. Is that, is that one of yours? The one without butane. Yeah. Oh, nice. We think it's a Swazi. No, no, this is something different. I just something rolled different. it. What the hell is that? Is it me to you? Mine lit up, but yours made the noise, I think. I live in my wallet finder. Those tiles that you put in your wallet, of sh- shout out to tile. <laughs> I'd waste half my life if I couldn't find my things with a little tile everywhere to the tile app. Oh, geez. Right. Right. Look at that. There's a slight familiar, slight familiar thing on the front end. Slightly. It's like, it's like a Jack Herrera looker. With no, it. nothing. Like, no. Like, no. Well, no, no. It was weird. Mm-hmm. I have to say, it's really weird. That's hemp. Different. Is it hemp, though? Totally hemp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that Dutch Master. Uh, or the T1, depending. Yeah. It tastes so good. <laughs> no, it does not taste so good. <laughs> you don't like it? That is weird. I can say that. It's different. But yeah. it's not bad. Uh, it's it I've does, had bammer weed that was It does something in your mouth. It does something weird in your mouth where it, like, it, you can feel like something's happening there. Now, when you say Dutch master, we're talking our friend Dutch? Yeah, totally. Yes, he are. was the night... Uh, <laughs> I got a, we're totally talking about our friend Dutch. Yeah, I got, he, he, uh, I got a... Uh, what do you call it? A rack Spit of clones. I, I got a rack of clones off him and... Uh, I was like, what are they? And he's like, I'm not telling you. <laughs> but I grow them. And then I grow them. And I was like, all right, man, I want to make some seeds. He's like, go ahead and breed with them. But don't give that any of the originals out. I'm like, he's like, name them after me. I remember the last time so, I saw you, too, you had some weird copper-tasting weed. Is that what that was? God, what was that? I want the I don't pennies. Know. Yeah, the, yeah, it tasted like pennies, pennies or something oh. like dirty Oh, pennies. that's the R4 Tangistan. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That dirty did pennies. taste like pennies, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I just remember you talking about that last time. <laughs> I don't suck on a lot of dirty pennies, but huh? I don't know what dirty pennies taste like. No, it totally tastes like you licked a... Like, dirty, a, like it licked it, an old... It tastes yeah. like yeah. copper or something or like... Yeah, like... Yes. I liked growing that stuff. It was I nice love that metallic weed. It's weird. Not my thing. So, uh, did you manage to get all the videos done? No. Because, you know, Duke, what happened to Duke? Um, he looked like he'd been in the hole for three oh, months. Oh, come on. That's the best thing ever. He could have no, done a video. No. He could have done... Uh, it's uh, No Shave November. And so, we're at the oh, end of No Shave November. Oh, and no like, Shave Year. What are you talking about? Like, I, I know, know but, but he looked <laughs> like he was going to stab me and take my food. So, oh, that would have been perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, I just left him. I said, okay, uh, December 2nd, we'll film. 
So I would have filmed it. That would have been very. I, I mean, I know so? but that would have been great. I'm trying to. I'm trying to market the guys. You have a beard, and he. I don't know. <laughs> He's seriously. I was, I was like, dude, you could no. have had him like when they caught Saddam Hussein or whatever, and he looked like crazy. And he like, that's that's where it was at. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That would have been a good. That would have been a good. You could have. You could have worked off of that. You know. That and he wasn't fully <laughs> done with his strain name, so he's, he put a lot of work into that. So he's finishing naming all that. Uh, I'm first, not. First I haven't finished. Shots. I don't even know my names anymore. I don't GOP. care. I'm done with names. <laughs> Obsolete was it one time? He just he just crossed with cross. He didn't give a shit. He said, "Okay, cross with cross." No, I mean, I, uh, I would tell people, it's hard, because I, I like to tell people what they are, but I don't really, I mean, it's fun when you come up with a good name, it makes sense, but then it's like, I don't know, the, only, the best name, I mean, it's like, he's fun, his names are great, but they're, they don't sell good. They're, they're great, Taint? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I love him. I think it's the greatest <laughs> name ever. I was like, Taint? Oh, that's a great name. Now try selling it, though. I know. That's Explaining what I'm it to that's what I'm and, and it being Charlotte's grandma, like yeah. of all things, really. Yeah. Like, we're going we're gonna to call Charlotte's Charlotte's grandma. Taint. Taint? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't Charlotte's grandma, was yeah, it? Yeah, Charlotte's grandma. In, in, the, in the lineage, it's, it's the cream cross. Oh, okay. And so I was like, dude, you know, and, and it's hard to like pitch it and like we just point it to it on the I paper. Mean, Here you go. There, Charlotte's there, grandma's taint sounds pretty bad. Like that combination is just, you know, See? all three of them. Not good. Wow. Whoa. But um, Whoa. On, 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 on that note, uh, DJ Short will be dropping his latest Happy Pussy collab <laughs> oh my Emerald God. Cup at my booth more pussy stuff uh -huh. still happy pussy or is that, is that the same thing before I, we had a talk and I was like I dude really this. happy pussy he's like what are you talking about like a little kitty waving and I'm like no that's that not, not that's not where you're going nobody's with thinking that's what it and, is and so he's got a new cross called New Light and uh, it's a happy pussy crossed with, uh, with, with another string I, I can't I forgot but um, but it's new light. His his new berry drop came in. Uh, only had four hundred packs. They're, this, they're really really nice packs. Um, we sold out of our share of them in a half hour. So it was pretty. Uh, it's the first stuff that he's released in ten years. Um, the pictures are all online of, of the new berry. I have a couple packs left, but uh, that I'm keeping. Don't call me. But um, they're, but they're, it's, they're all numbered and they're in baseball baseball collector cards. Oh shit! He went yeah. all out. Oh, oh all look how happy he is. Happy too. Got beer. He's got a beard now. Oh, you happy now? Is it a good one? Oh, it's crap. So two uh, top two. top feeds with hops. Oh, no, hop, that's feed. called hop so, feeding. No, yeah, actually. that hop was feeding. Like, yeah, it's that not hop feeding. We call actually, that hop, we call that hop feeding. Hop feeding. That's yeah, right. that's not top. Oh, feeding. that was great. Actually, there's some stuff called hop hash, and it's like a like when they beat the hop pellet, like they beat the flowers up to make the little pellets. They they got like the paddle, yeah, and it's got like resin on it, so they scrape it off and they sell it to you. But then we got it lab tested, and it was like mammalian gut bacteria. What? So I was like, uh, mammalian gut bacteria. Yeah, because they it was organic, so they fed it with, uh, it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know. Yeah. We I sterilized it, like I boiled it, and then put it in there into the the tea. Yeah. And then feed it to the plants, you know, like I uh, know. And man, it got raunchy, like super raunchy. And then we were putting like the how raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> to the Tell point where I, I saw like some of the strains that like the mango the mango came out real like the funky undertones like it brought out like the the dankness of the plants not like the sweetness look at that beautiful coffin bag you got coffin cake <coughs> shout out to, oh, to the coffin yeah, made in Denver by our friend uh, oh, yeah. t-shirt man t-shirt king Sheldon Sheldon's bag. Oh, Old Sheldon. Hey, what's up with those guys? What, uh, They're in Texas. They're in. Uh, Jason's awesome, man. He's like a great dude. Jason. Uh, Jason with, Little. With, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. Clear. I know. Those bags yeah, started to play away before their time, bro. That's true. Back, in, Colo back in Colorado was cool. This is like the official, the official time period. So when we were talking about obsolete, he did a lot of the alien genetics. Ob correct? Obsolete's God. I mean, as far as like, oh, so he wants to check out this one. This is my new, my, my new shift I'm working on. Stuff's phenomenal. It's one of my personal strengths here. You, you've been working on that? Oh yeah, like six years now. What are you talking about? Yeah, I, I feel like there's. Yeah. Whoa. Right. This right. Is... Different. Right. Whoa. Right. Really different. Really different. Like you guys haven't smelled that before. Never. Wow. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I looked at it and was like, what the cause? What? Come on now. You've been working that shit for have you ever smelled anything any any cannabis? I have that? actually smelled something some, exactly like some that. Some sift like this. Exactly. Bullshit. Huh? Not sift like that. Uh one hundred percent. So he was like uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <Yeah. laughs> no, no, I need it back, I need it back. That's crazy, man. Yeah, isn't it? Good hash, good hash. No, but I think yeah. another, here's the funny thing though. Wish I would have brought the volcano. I, I have smoked so, so many times weed that has that i I've got that smell out of weed and hash and stuff where I'll be like, Are you that is that 
Is that that? <laughs> what do you think? Your secret or something? DMT. Look at yeah. Oh, oh, okay. No. Wow, that was so DL. <laughs> DMT. DLT. DLT. It's organic. It was BLT. It was a BLT. Yeah. So did you get a BLT? Yeah. Anyway, yes. Anyways, yeah. No, I'm not a breeder. Will never be. If I do start, you know. No, but that smell is very distinctive, and you would get that like weird, especially with certain hashes. You'd be like, "Holy shit, dude! I totally taste it right now." And it's like, so you know, it's some organic compound that's just. So similar. Oh, that's what you said about the GMO cookies that I had. That, that, that GMO garlic cookies, that uh-huh. hash that I had that one time that yeah. I made you guys all smell. Yeah. It smelled just like Dan Strings. Yeah. See, good memory. Good memory. Yep. That's why we got you around. Like remember what I, oh, hazel that does cream. not look like. <laughs> from exotic. From, from, uh, <laughs> what are we doing logic. now? Dab logic. Just smell it. <laughs> who, who is the string like? Uh, that is Gawky, right? Okay. Uh, Miami like, haze and cook, <laughs> cookies and cream. butter or something. So it's like lavender and uh, eucalyptus yeah, mixed together, like 500 five five milligrams of CBD. And it's got a All special... Right. Hey, 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 Mumbles <laughs> over here. What's going on, well, Mumbly McGee? Well, he's got some, some hazelnut cream. You can't have these side conversations. You can't do it. He's got some, he's hazelnut, hazelnut, he's got some very nice hazelnut cream by, by who, who extracted it? Uh, Dab Logic. Dab Logic. Oh, well, let's smoke it. And my big pet peeve is, like, who is the breeder? All right, well, let's talk about it. Exactly. Together. Hey, are there still people on the... Exactly. On the page? Yeah. All right. Uh, I brought four. I got some land race genetics if somebody wants them. We need, we need, we need hard questions, though. Yeah, we need, like... Well, and we still... Oh, okay, so we're still doing one more giveaway with... Um, uh, <laughs> what time does James Green show up? No, that would... Oh. Yeah, that would have been... A, Everyone would have just been, they'd, if they bet super late, <laughs> they'd be right on point. No, uh, Illuminar is going to give away another 1,000 watt. We were going to have it on the show, but we don't have a, no Skype. So no Skypey, no, no Skypey, no, yeah. uh, no, 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 no deal. Skype-y, no banana. And so uh, we'll do that next week when we're back in the... Is there a camera in here too, by the way? Yes, oh. of course there's a camera. <laughs> what would you think? I just got here. What you think? Who what'd wants you think? to watch a show that you can't watch? Yeah, who, wants to, who wants to listen to a podcast like... Every other podcast. I still listen to them. No, I'm it, trimming. It's funny because some podcasts, uh, some podcasts, that, you know, they're like what, like they're shocked that you have video, you know, and you're like, of course I have video. You got so much weed shit going on. You got to see. Yeah, see it. You got to see what's going on. It's like when you had the, the uh, lemon cake guy and you had that big jar of sauce. I don't know if it was lemon cake. Yes, it was lemon cake. You sure? Chat gang. The cake part was a little... Three, lemon three, something. three sub- subjects ago, the lemon cake guy, the weird guy came out of Matt Worcester, who done harassed on the substrate. Uh, Worcester? Worcester Gloucester. Gloucester. He's uh, a Massachusetts Not guy. Worcester, Ohio. Okay, never mind. No, no Worcester. Mass. Worcester. 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 So, so Chat gang helped me out. Uh, he made the lemon cake. That's what his claim was. All right. At the end, after I knew, and he, he sh- fished around, uh, JJ, can you just start off? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so that one coming, but uh, but no, he says he made lemon cake. Seemed like good enough dude. Seemed like he had uh, good intentions, a good heart, but but like everybody should have everything free source. I don't know about that. I, I don't. You, you've got to protect the breeders, the guys who re- did the original thing. And okay. what is lemon cake cross? Uh, I, no clue. That's what I'm trying to find out more of. That's why I needed done to. I'm trying to do Inspector Gadget and find out. It's like the weed detective. I need to find out how and why and what it is. Lemon skunk and wedding cake. No, he said. Hey, you didn't even. Oh, you got. Oh, you got. Look how excited he got. Who got lemon cake? Well, could be. Could be. Who's got lemon cake? And you're like, got the lemon cake. Yeah. See, we're like fishbowl. Where the fishbowl? Too soon. He said he made it a couple years ago, and wedding cake just came out. What's that noise coming from? Here, right here. My kids. Oh, I was like, where the Israel live and direct. Yo, right. How to how to interrupt a show proper? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's on so that what, Google Adam Dunn Show. Uh, uh, YouTube, no, YouTube, right YouTube, now. YouTube, Adam, Adam Dunn Show. show. And we're uh, we'll just yeah, because I gotta give this show, dude a shout out. Is that tall or? Who's oh yeah, it's totally tall. Of course it's tall. What up? <laughs> what up, my friend? How are you doing? Oh no, I just didn't suppose. Well, to well it's yeah, it's back. It's back. It's, it's going out. Beards are going out. Beards are not fashionable at all now. Yeah. All right, get on there. I'll call you when we're done. <laughs> That's, that's when the things are the most fashionable. When things are not fashionable is when I'm all over that shit. So mm-hmm. that's why they, they got me. No, well, well, like two years ago, there was like a, a, a thing know. where everybody was a beard. If you had a, everybody, if you, were a grower, you yeah. had a beard. Of course. That dude's yeah. never had a beard. I had my Negative. beard. I had I've my, never seen him with a beard. I had my beard sticker, and I think it was 2007 or something like that. I made that first like big beard sticker, and now it's like, it's so standard. It's like the standard okay. thing. You know, oh, yeah. Well, you started it. I mean, 
Oh, once again. I think, <laughs> I think people had beards no, no. before he did. I'm not, I'm no, no. Not, yeah. no, no. He started yeah. the cannabis yeah. beard. Can of yeah, beard. Yeah. They did not start it. Yeah, no, I did. <coughs> no, but I did do the sticker like proper. The thing is, when I made that sticker, I fucked up so bad. No. So bad, dude. Like, because I didn't understand how stickers worked. Stickers are of the square millimeter, right? And you're paid by the millimeter in Europe. And I ended up. Like just throwing numbers at them, like yeah, make it this big by this big, and then they, they got the bill. It was like two thousand dollars for five hundred stickers. Uh, I was like, hey, what? This guy yes. said, should we bring some of the entries from the show up here and smoke them? Of course, but I you can't tell us what they I are, just, are the, or the names of them. Right. No, that's just my. Do we, do, is there a score number that we have to give it? Because we can do a score number too if we have. Yeah, to, if, we it, gotta, if it helps, I don't know yeah. if it helps, but. Bring us a scorecard. Just trying to be, un- just trying to be unbiased. Just Throw some weed at us. Why not? I mean, that was that was kind of the. Oh, oh, hey, real idea. quick, what's that he's saying? He's a kid. The kid. I don't okay, know. he's not, a new kid. He's a new kid. Watch. He's not the kid. No. Okay. Cool. He looks like somebody kid. I know. That's a new kid. We can't NY OK TV that guy. Hey, but, uh, shout out to the kid. He's, he's not listening. He is listening. Okay, shout out to the kid. He better be listening. Uh, he's helping a patient that I have back in back in his state. Oh, look, scorecards. Oh, Our favorite thing. Our so, favorite so, thing. so, so, how did this? Uh, since I'm obviously uh, late to the game here, we're in a gentleman's oh house. Oh my god, I'm never able cool. to see anything. Oh. Dude. I have no glasses. I can't see. What? No, he's, he's. You want to go get some glasses with me in the next couple days? Oh, no, seriously. Too, no. Too no, I'm serious. I'm gonna. It's like a bingo yeah. ticket. I, I got a whole I plan. <laughs> bingo, Jeez, bingo, 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 bingo. Look like a monopoly. Look like Marvin Garden. Just get close to the mic. That's all. Stop squeaking around. Hey, Jesus. This guy's so demanding. I this think, guy? I think two of these are mine anyways. Me. Huh? Two of these are mine. He's like one of those kids. Are they not? You're mine. I'm taking <laughs> my can, mics home. I can move it. I want to. No, these are actually our original four mics that we bought. These are not the ones I thought this one smelled like your old one. No, these are... You, you, you didn't, Why are you smelling the microphone? These are, no, these, it, these, it, these it, are, these are audio technicas. You, no, no, I mean that, though. Uh, I, can't. Sure, sure. I got I got sure 45. No, you don't. You're all... Yeah, I know. These are all... You, you, you got the Shures. We have a... Couple Did you buy all this in a bundle? I noticed they because I've been looking for headphones, so I noticed they sell like Is complete studio bundle. I don't, no, I don't he pieced it together one. No, no, we had a uh, most of. Oh, look at this! We got pecan. Was this pecan pie? Oh, uh, is it bacon pie? That one won't work. Is there any bacon in there? <laughs> Is there any bacon in it? That's, yeah, please yeah, just yeah, say yes. Chance just came through with some. Fire, fire, pies, and entries. I'm willing to try some. Oh, pie, 100%. God, we're, we're, we're totally down. We're totally down. Just wait, pie entries? Huh? Oh, no. We'll, 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 was that an entry? Because we have to test it. Is that an entry? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're 100% down. Oh, hot damn. Sam from Sam's Creation. Sam from Sam's Creation. Oh, yeah. We can have Sam come in and, and show us. It's good. Oh, cool. Hey, let me get you one. Yeah, you jump. All right, cool. I'm gonna wander. You sit in that. Or you can wander. Let me give Sam a. Dude, that here. That deserves a mic for a minute. Throw your pies down. We can. We can have a chat with us for a second. Here. Here. Oh. Have a quick. Grab a seat seat real quick, and then well, we'll talk about them for a second, and that way we get the we'll get the most out of this uh, action. But my mom's my mom's a big pie person, so I, I, you know, you got you got a lot of competition. <laughs> got, All right, you got I'll take that competition. So we, we I've been told I make you want to slap your mama. So <laughs> oh shit, she better not find out. So we got we got looks like we have pecan and uh, is this a sweet potato? Sweet potato pie. See, that's yes. my, oh, that's my, I just literally had one the other day. My mom makes a mean sweet potato pie. So um, this is my grandma recipe that I medicated. Because everybody's always pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, and I'm like, no, nah, sweet potato pie is the way to go. I don't even know what pumpkin pie tastes like. <laughs> So there you go. I'm glad I guessed that because usually uh, uh, it would have been an insult if I would have been like, so what kind of pumpkin pie did you do? I would have been like, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, this, <laughs> this guy knows nothing about pies. No, I'm uh, pretty pie friendly. Uh, so how much milligrams? What are we talking about as far as uh, infusion that you did well, you get there? This one, they're both infused with distillant. This one is 500 milligrams because I made two pies. Mm-hmm. And so that one's 500 milligrams altogether. And this one is, well, both of them are 500 milligrams. Okay. But um, usually when I make them individually for people, I make them at least 1,000 milligrams. Sure. You so that little, way little, little, they feel good. Yeah. <laughs> right. And what, they kind of, their body. And, and what kind of distillate are we talking? Um, this one is made with Gorilla Glue. Uh, I'm saying this one like they can see. The pecan pie is made. They can see. Okay. The pecan pie is made with Gorilla Glue. We're, we can, we're doing visuals here too. Um, from uh, Slauson Hemp. Uh-huh. So I got that one from him. And I don't know what the uh, Ooh, pot- sweet potato pies made, but I know it comes from Yeti's Farm. Okay. So I have two pretty good. And all of them had competed in the competition. So oh, nice. I got some of their stuff on there. Sweet. And 
So you say you do custom, you do custom ones. Uh, what's the most you ever had somebody ask for? Like, because uh, you should do a fifty-two eighty pie. You should do a fifty-two eighty pie, like a mile high pie, oh, uh, and do a fifty-two eighty. That weighs five thousand two hundred eighty milligrams. Yeah. And then everybody's like, oh, the 50, oh, you my know, high pie. I mean, come on. 10, 10%. It's, it's so 10%. funny that y'all say this. I have this goal. Like, I make medicated lemonade. Uh-huh. I have award-winning lemonade, too. And I have this goal, like, to make the strongest lemonade. I want to use a gram of this one <laughs> and see who mm. wants to drink it with me and what happens with us. That can, that can but happen. the most that I have made with, um, I had did. Uh, I mean, the whole problem with any liquid thing is going to be this, the suspension issue mm-hmm. and how much you can actually get in there without it turning into just, like, it's like, it's like when you, as I put, uh, 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 medicinal mushrooms every morning, and so it's always a little of a challenge because I'm trying to keep I got the. I'm oh, oh, good. I'm oh, good. Oh, good. I got some peanut butter cups that I make with mushrooms. Oh, nice. Well, so yeah, because well, I like the microdose, and uh-huh. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the taste of cannabis. To tell the truth. Well, mushrooms are one of those things that it's always uh, like you know that's half the battle is how do you, how do people you know, get it down? Yeah. And then uh, not have to be re- reminded every 20 minutes for the burp. You're like, oh, that's what it was. That, <laughs> you know? that was it. I had a bad experience where I had. The bubble guts, <laughs> and I was just like, and it tasted bad going down, and it tasted bad coming out, and I was just like, it took me a while to do it again, so I started cooking with it, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I can do it this way, but I can't do it just eating them by themselves, like, ugh. So, because uh, I think we could do a fifty-two eighty show with pies one time. That'd be oh, that's a definite challenge. that's a definite um, a challenge. You know, mm-hmm. we get a couple people up here think they're big time and. Get See what deep. they can do. Because that'd be about, you know, we're looking at probably about like 800 milligrams per slice or something like that, which is pretty good. And you get like yeah. two or three of those down, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be I would I want to sit back with the camera and be like, See, gong, yeah. gong. Like a time <laughs> lapse. Five, five, what, do you do a uh, yes. time lapse every five now, minutes? Yeah. Have you, <laughs> you ever free, do you ever freeze your pies? you ever freeze them and then? Yes. How's that? How? Because I was thinking about that the other day because my mom makes a mean pie, like I said, but it, uh, and she's always trying to get me to take it with me and then, you know, ends up. I'll eat half of it before I get home, and then I'm getting trouble, and you know the, cla- the classic pie issues mm-hmm. you have around the, yeah, the lack of there forth. Um, but had, so you so you freeze them sometimes, and how's it? How is the thaw process, and how's that work? And do you, do you try to do you just let it do it naturally? Or? I just let it do it naturally because um, my grandma used to make pies and cakes ahead of time, mm-hmm. and then freeze them before she because she used to cook for the church, mm. and so she would make them earlier in the week and then freeze them so that way she ain't have to work wait till Saturday to cook. Yeah. So I used to watch the way she used to wrap it up in some type of paper and then wrap it in foil. So I used to watch her. Mm-hmm. So I do it that same type of way. And it keeps like the freezer burn from sure. I'm talking with my hands but it keeps the freezer burn from oh it's all good it's all good you're good yeah. but it keeps the freezer burn from being out and everything and they come out pretty good like I like them because I still eat them like a lot of my medicated foods like that I because I freeze my gumbo Mm-hmm. So just oh, in case good. if I want to eat it later and um, or if it's cold outside and I feel like a bowl of gumbo and I need to medicate, right. I'll freeze it and make sure there ain't no air in there and it's going to be good. You're from the South? Mm-hmm. I'm from Texas. Man, and Daddy's from South Carolina. I love me some gumbo. Good yes. Boy. And my gumbo makes you want to slap your mama too. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> so I'll slap my mama. It's, it's all right. I'll do it. And so... Uh, <laughs> she doesn't so, pecan, so pecan is just straight pecan pie or is there any, any other magical... It's uh, cannabis. it's cannabis in it. Yeah, besides <laughs> cannabis, so I mean, as far as it's just straight pecan pie. See, because I've been working I mean, with cannabis and shrooms. I'm not asking for your secret ingredients, like, like, of course. I've been so working with cannabis and shrooms, and I haven't. I don't know how that's gonna do. In oh no, the, I'm not even asking that. Yeah, I, was oh, okay. just I was just wondering if it was like some other, you know, it's pecan cranberry pie or oh, something no, weird, it's something I've never heard of before. Okay. Um, I want to do like I was when I first moved here. When I first started doing, um, when I got into my own apartment, I should say, I started experiment with pecan and sweet potato. But I couldn't get it together, so I think that now I can get no, it right because I finally oh, got my pies to bake right. I can't right. How, long you, how long have you been in Denver? Or you just oh, I live in the Springs. I've been in the Springs for 11 years. Oh, so, uh, so Denver, so that, that's not very far from here. Mm-mm. All right. So you just moved to He's Denver. from Oregon, so he has no idea what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's about an hour away. So, cool. so, so there's obviously a larger market up here for your product. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then is your product available in the, like uh, in rec? In, in the rec no, rec? it's um I'm like I don't know if I can say like where are y'all at? That's <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. No more to be said. All you have to, no, this is there is a new phrase for it though. There's a whole new word. It's called traditional. You're there you do, go, you're I'm traditional. Tra- yeah, traditional. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, she's she's, she's traditional. She's traditional. Okay. <laughs> it's a much nicer way to kind of represent without having to say what. Yeah, well, it, you yeah. know. <laughs> and, that, and that was actually um, told to so me at the mm-hmm. Las Vegas People show by pie. Kyle Cushman, right? I kind of right? slipped up and well, told him we had pie. Oh. And they're like, holy shit, there's pie. <laughs> Oh, we so get, I have some well, cake pops for y'all. If y'all so like to try can with. I take? Uh, we need slices. We need slices go now. Yeah, but, okay, let come, me go. Come, come no, back. Figure this out. Figure out some, some, some way that we can have a few slices sure before this. Sorry, I'll be back. can bring the pie back. Okay. So we, what we're going to try to do is get we'll a couple. Get we need a couple pieces, and then we need, you guys can obviously get pieces. Okay, and I'll bring back some cake pops, and I have something for you. Is this the only two? Is the only two pies you want to share? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be right there. Thanks, dude. We're fucking everything up again. Got to check against moms, you so, know. So I, I would judge these, but I can't. I mean, I, you this, can't tell me the names of them. Well, don't look. I already saw. I, I can't read like, anything, so I'm great. I can't see anything. Biased. It's just like, biased, it's a big biased. blur. It's a big blur. That's why I have the best competition. Biased. I know they are. Well, we, but we're not really judging anything anyway. Just, just whatever. Why not? Well, we are judging, but we don't have the whole gamut of things. We're just we hopefully just have the top four, the top five. This one's the, nice. I think it's biased. Yeah, I think you know what you're judging, and they call it something. Yeah, with a, this one smells like tan. That smells like tan. Okay, you can yeah. take one. There's lemon, Come. there's purple people nice. eaters, and there's pecan pie. <laughs> Don't get it. You're giving it to the biggest <laughs> kid. There's in lemon, the world. purple people eaters, and pecan pie. How much do you have? How much do you sell them for? I sell them for $5. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Allegedly, exactly. And this is for that you. Is, that is really. Oh, cool. what is this? These one? are my oh, shrimp cups. Oh, oh, white chocolate. Like my, my <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't get your bag mixed up. He said, "Don't get your bag mixed up." <laughs> oh shit! Would you like one? These are really cool. Thank you. Those, those are, are my purple people eaters. These, are, these are really cool. I thought about Barney when it's I like, did those. It's like something out of a Harry Potter movie, or I don't know. Oh yeah, that that'll work too. <laughs> That's Thank cool. you. Very cool. I Very hope y'all cool. enjoy them. Oh, for sure. They're so, definitely excellent. What's the milligram on this thing here? Thank you. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Those are 100. <laughs> Whatever it is, not enough. Wait, wait. Good okay, answer. so it might Good not answer. be. Good answer. Those are between 75 and 100. They're made with distillate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those are made from, um, with uh, Slauson's oh, distillate. So those are made with Gorilla Glue. And, um... I didn't know. You know those dangerous so, moments so, where I'm so actually you say hungry. Made with gorilla glue, like, oh, like that's with a problem. Still with ice that. Like, ah, ah. Hey, stoner face. What's that? Stoner face. <laughs> So when it's made with distillate or isolate, there's no, uh, when it's just like the raw, there is no flavor that transfers with it when it's raw. No. Right? So although it's made with gorilla glue, it's just Well, it's just I take oral. that back. It depends on how pumpkin. you... Pecan or pumpkin? There you go. Sweet potato. It's not pumpkin. It's sweet, not potato. Pumpkin. <laughs> sweet potato. It's sweet potato. You're, you're insulting her, like, multiple <laughs> times. Or just like you always do. Yeah. <laughs> insult the insult the, uh, the 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 heritage. Yes. The, the traditional workers. <laughs> and all so, uh, He said you go get your own. Sweet potato, please. Well, he wants to try my sweet potato. Sweet, sweet potato. potato. Pumpkin, please. It's not pumpkin. It's sweet potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh, yeah, no, do it again. We just went by. Oh, sorry. sorry. Stoners. I'm, I'm, I'm just sweet ordering pecans so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Being safe. Do you need pie? Uh, pecan looks yeah, really pecan. good, too. So, um, nice. I, I think in some people's stuff, you can taste the distillate. Right. And, um, like, some people, it, it depends on how you, I think it depends on how you um, prepare it. Okay, because one of my one of, one of my best guys, uh, Michael Say, we actually did a, we roasted half a pig, and he had a a, a, a barbecue fountain, a medicated mm-hmm. barbecue fountain. And very you, and you tasty. Taste anything? Yeah, I and had then, like my my medicated barbecue sauce. But see, it's yeah. funny because I kind of like to, to taste just a little bit because then I feel confident well, but, that it's going to work. That's like, how my I, feel. like if it's nothing, I'm always a little bit like meh, and it doesn't really. I mean, I, so I, remember I, San I have a hard I have a hard time getting anything to work the day I take it. Mm-hmm. It's the next day. It yeah. all kicks in like that, and it's not a good way. It's like just groggy and like can't open my eyes, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh so, yeah, so I, ate all that sp- I ate like nine of those yesterday. I couldn't feel anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, got home, and we're like, because I always run around it, and get hungrier, and that's all I ever have is more. To I'm, eat. I'm the same way, and I started making like hemp oil, uh, can of cap type deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I use distillate, and then mix it with some hemp oil, and yeah. then uh, yeah, heat, heat it up though, or. Oh well, you, I mean you carb up, decarb up. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. 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 So San Bernardino, that where we had the pre party, we had the the fondue fountain. Uh huh. Everything on the back table medicated. Yes. Couldn't taste shit. Yeah. The whole room loaded, and like halfway through the show, they're like, "Is that back? Is, is everything back there medicated?" 
No, no, oh, it creeps up on you for sure. Said, one yes, thing is, the whole crowd is like, oh, I don't oh, feel oh, it. Wow. It doesn't mean I'm not really high. Mad. It doesn't mean no. I don't look. It doesn't mean I don't look high and I don't act high. I just don't think in my mind that I'm high. So I'm always like, yeah, I don't feel nothing. But then but there's a different high. I'm sure, if I had a camera on me the whole time, I'd be like, yeah, you didn't. See it, but your eyes were like this. But I think like, I, 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 <laughs> you do get really. But I think an edible high and a flower high are completely different. Hundred percent. I think so too. Oh yeah, of course. Totally. Yeah, it's more of a body experience. Yeah, because there's been some times that I had to bargain with Jesus. Yeah, and not that I'm. Oh, when yeah. it works, it works too good, mm-hmm. and, it, and then the other times it doesn't do shit. Yeah. So that's the problem. It's like it's so hard to fucking nail. Like you can't really get like oh, I think I'm gonna have a real light buzz tonight. No. Like that don't work. It's either yeah. it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. You can't turn it off. It's either mm-hmm. nothing's happening or I'm sleeping. And yeah. I, and, I, and I've told this story <laughs> before, but I had one I had one experience yeah, in California yeah. where I was at a party, and I got there. This is back when I would drink beer. I don't drink anymore, but back when I drink, I got to the party and they're like, we have no alcohol, and I was like, oh, this party sucks, right? So then I walked around. And some guy walks up and goes, you want some hemp? Some Thank hemp you. milk, he called it, right? And I was like, sure. And I took like, he poured a little thimble size thing. And I was like, ah, come on. Give me something more than that. So he's like, okay. And he pours another little like two. I'm like, give me a kick. I took like two or three of these little tiny fucking thimble size things. 20 minutes later, I fucking couldn't talk. Like I lost the power of speech. Felt like somebody was pushing me from behind the whole time. I kept going, like, stop pushing me. And I'd turn around and be nobody there. I'd be like, fuck is going on, bro. <laughs> and then I just was like, I can't talk. And I just went back to my room, passed out, woke up in the middle of the night, dehydrated like a motherfucker, like die. Oh, I'm dying, you know. But it was so strong and it was so small. I don't know what how they did it, but the milk was like literally the strongest thing I've ever had. Cause That's was, good. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I was like, weed milk. This pie fatty. So, so, so where can folks find your product? Like um, online? Or? I have um, I have a Facebook page oh, okay. and an Instagram page with Sam's Creations. Awesome. Make sure you put a Z because if you don't put a Z at the end of Sam's and Creations, you won't find me. Okay. And um, so I'm waiting creations. for the one with his mama. See if it's even close to his mama. <laughs> I don't want to top his mama, but I want to be close to her. <laughs> I mean, yours, yours is like more delicate than my mom's, I can say. You have a oh, more no. delicate touch. I'm sorry, Ace. I'm sorry, Ace. I love mom's, you, Ace. Mom's, mom's is more, mom's, mom's is, for me. yeah, mom, mom's has got, mom's is five. good. Can wow. I say, this is, this is up to, this is up in the, up in the yes. zone for okay. sure. Okay. You know, I won't, I won't go slapper though. That's no, don't go slapper. No. But I'll tell her that's finally somebody. My mama hit back, so <laughs> I don't know about your mom. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Ace was slug back. Yeah, my mom's name is Ace. Oh, okay. You know, you know. Fisted. She's a fist. She's a fist. <laughs> she's a boxer. She's a She used to box. She used to box? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So. She's a gangster. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. My mom just used to fight her brothers. She had five <laughs> of them. That's good enough. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. She used to tell us, like, she's no, telling so me and my brother, like, if, if y'all fight me and win, then y'all won't get a whooping. But if y'all fight me and lose, I'm still going to beat your ass. And she used to beat her ass. <laughs> so we lost. <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> My mom used to tell me that she killed all the uh, all the ugly kids. <laughs> I, was like, ah. I was like, so I made it. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I made it. Shit. Thank you, mom. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, her crust is a little bit more pronounced in a sense. So she got a little bit. I think crust is really where it's like that's the fucking mm-hmm. the hardest part of anything. Like, pies are really hard to do. Yeah, they are. They cakes cakes are. are way easier. Cakes are easier. Yeah, pies, the are, pies like, are hard. It took me some years to to get the crust right, to, so it don't be doughy yeah. in the middle. What's, yeah. your, what's your secret? The altitude. <laughs> Learning how to cook at altitude. Me. That's all I can say. That's all you're gonna get from me. You ready for this, Matt? Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. They were asking. Okay. Yes. No, no, sure. <laughs> I was like, you want your seat back? Never, never give away your secret. Yeah, I want to know everything about yeah. it. So how do you do this? What temperature? What degree? Mm-hmm. Never give that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I learned that lesson. Yeah, yeah. I learned it the hard how, way. How was, so how was the transition with the altitude? Because is, it is hard to do. I, I don't even think about it anymore because I've been here for a while. Yes. But in the beginning, it, it was definitely When I first got here, because like, I'm from Texas, like I said, and um, every time I did, I had to learn how to bake with this altitude because mm-hmm. even my, my pies was raw in the middle, the cakes would fall and it'd be nice and done on the outside and be all doughy in the middle and stuff like that. And I just kept practicing and practicing. It's just like with cannabis. I started cooking with cannabis in 2012 when I moved off post from my Mm ex-husband. And I used to like have people come over and be like, just try this. <laughs> sometimes it would be too Too much mar- for them. Yeah, and sometimes you couldn't taste anything. And like I made these egg rolls one time and uh, with this sauce and my friend was like, is this medicated? After she didn't ate five of them. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, by the way. 
<laughs> See, in six <laughs> hours, you're in for it. <laughs> That's always when it really hits you, like when you don't know it. Mm-hmm. Then it really, this all mind shit at that point, because then people are like, no, they really get all tripped out and stuff. So it's better just to not tell them at that point. I just don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it for everybody. The minute you tell them, they're like, now I feel it. Enjoy the ride. Right? (laughs) I had a friend that um, I forgot to tell her, it was her first time eating edibles. And I just wanted to send her a treat because she said her and her daughter was going to the rec stores looking for stuff. So I was like, here, this is for you and your daughter. Have a good weekend. And I forgot to tell her not to eat the whole thing, just to take a bite or maybe eat a fourth of it and see how that makes you feel. So she called me the next day. She was like, hey, uh, I ate the whole thing and I don't think I like weed. I said, why not? And she said, I had an out-of-body experience. I said, oh, I forgot to tell you not to eat the whole thing. She said, well, I had rum and coke, too, but still, I was like, yeah, you had a little bit too much. <laughs> so, you know, I try to give people, like, just time. Like, I did um, these vegan uh, mango shortcakes. Mm-hmm. That's, and, um, that, that, that's this guy. You're vegan? No, I'm not vegan, but no. I, I, uh, I feel you. I'm towards, on that, tra- I'm I'm on like that toward, journey, I'm like, too. I'm close. I don't, eat any meat. I don't eat any meat. I haven't eaten meat in 28 years or something like that, but mm-hmm. I still eat eggs and I still eat, you know, uh, honey. Nothing with <laughs> like, honey. I like, Nothing I, with the I'm not like one of those guys. Like, no honey, the, beer, <laughs> the bees are being enslaved. It's like vegan earlier this yeah. year, my friend was like, you eating honey? Do you know what honey is? I was like, but it tastes so good. <laughs> You just like, have to have good quality honey, and you know those guys. I mean, the thing is that real guys who take care of yes, bees, yes, yes. they love their bees more than it's not like you know the because you don't you don't go for the factory honey. You know what I mean? You go for small batch and mm-hmm. guys who you know, and that's it, that's artisanal work. You know what I mean? And they and they to, those bees benefit. You know what I mean? They're they're not they're not having a hard life at all. Mm-hmm. You know so. Uh, if you, but if you get like fake honey that's from China, that's like that's the biggest problem is that most of the honey that's on the market is not even really honey. Yeah, right? and that's and people don't have a way to test it. And there's literally a couple honey labs out there that that's all they do is test fucking honey all day, and it's so much fraudulent shit in that industry because it's easy for people to make fake. You know? and that's sad. They're starting to do that with our vegetables too. They're doing a lot of food. A lot of food yeah. is getting, you know, it's literally like, and, and then soon you'll have gene editing and that's going to make it even weirder where it's going to be like, oh, fuck, you know, you're going to have a lot of... From my little town in Oregon, uh, <laughs> we're the only county that has non gene Medford? Uh, uh, yeah. Jo- Josephine County is... Guess where I'm flying out. into tomorrow probably. Where? Right? Why? I have to go there. He said, "Like why? <laughs> like, yeah, no, people, Is it that bad?" Yes, the train doesn't even go through there. Oh, no, wow. I have to get a rent a car and drive there and go. I have to go see. That sounds like Fort Polk, Louisiana. Biomass, no. bro. <laughs> so Biomass. It's, it's where the bad. It's where the cell phones. Biomass, bro. Oh wow. Yeah. It's the catchphrase of the year. But if you're not doing biomass, you're. Oh, I got I got metric tons of biomass. There you go. Yeah, yeah. cool. I'll come check it out. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Biomass. I'm not talking that about dirty. La- I'm not talking about dirty laundry over here, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Biomass. Oh, okay. I'm not talking dirty laundry. I've got so much dirty laundry. <laughs> like, what is that? Oh my God, y'all said, said school words. <laughs> and, and, and for those of us who don't know what biomass is, biomass is basically the ball camp. What they're talking about is the new. It's the new nah, phrase. Up and like and people don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The rolling everything. Rolling it all everything up. In. Wait, they smoking everything? No, no, smoking. Oh, it's turning into. So it's like full plant. No, yeah. biomass is used to extract CBD, but they homogenize it so you can get, get on the mic. Percentage. Get on the mic. Here, hold the mic, mister. Come on, don't be this. Biomass is going to be like, uh, so a lot of these hemp strains that people are making now run a little hot. So when you, if you were to like pull all the butt off, then you'd have, you know, some 0.4 or 5 or 6. But when you mix in a bunch of stems and leaves and shit and then crush it all up so it looks like, oh, it's so sad. I, I actually like shed a tear shucking weed for the first time. Mm. Yeah, we grew this terrific looking hemp, and then we shucked it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Toward the light. And it was just like, it's so sad. I can't believe we treat flowers Shucked like this. Yeah. Well, that's nothing. Shucking it is being nice these days. I mean, like, I've seen, I mean, like I, I see. bucking machines Well, shit. they keep coming in. <laughs> shucked it off. They keep checking out machines. all these uh, totes with hemp in them, you know, and these people just drop off the tote, and it's like. Dude, there's more stem than bud in this one. You know, it's just like rolled all up in a fucking thing, and it's just ah, uh, you're like, can you believe this? It's like, it's like a quarter stem. So you look down there, and they're like more, yeah. more. That and would then, make me so sad. And there's some that are just like all ground up, and then there's just like sticks, things yeah. popping out everywhere, and just wow. But yeah, the it's plant abuse at that point, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think if. If you're growing 10,000 acres, of course, you know, you have to mechanically yeah, do like it. Yeah, hand but, trim that. But then you got to come up. Yeah, right. Hand trim 10,000 yeah, acres. Hand trim 10,000 <laughs> acres. Fuck. <no. laughs> Perfect. 
Uh, but no, in general, it's just there's not really good machinery to do it. So all the stuff they have, like, and people don't know or care. They grow the whole thing and just use normal stuff that rolls it into fucking rolls. And you're like, mm. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some dudes are just cutting their hemp down and drying it out in the field. Just like so pile, you know, like, oh, my God. Like you alfalfa. Just, let it touch the ground. Ah! I just learned something. <laughs> <laughs> you learned something. See, Adam Dunn yeah. show. You should. I mean, you got a <laughs> nugget. You got a nugget. We got pie, and you got a nugget. Yes, I feel special and now. Pops. It, is, it is plant abuse. <laughs> Look at that. Look at you were coming home with that to your thing. girl, right? Yeah. Mm, Willy Wonka on the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I brought home. Tell her, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting some nice. Oh. Oh, I should have brought you some banana pudding. Lo- 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 you for really lo- lo- be getting some tonight. <laughs> 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 you have another lollipop? Which one do you want? Yes, I do. Classically and classically, right when he's right when he comes in the room and he's all like, hey, she'll be all... Oh, my God. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. And for two days, she slept. <laughs> <laughs> She's the purple beebler. Oh, what happened here? It's not my fault. Thank you very much. Yeah, really. You're welcome. Thank and those are, and those are fire. On. Once again, Thank Sam's fire. creations on Facebook. Oh, that's that's Picard. Sam's creations Sam. with, with a Z. With a Z. With, with a Z. Z. Oh. And thank you guys for letting me step in here real quick. Of course. Cause I thank you. Being nosy, like, what they doing? Yeah. <laughs> so we officially decided you won the best pies. Yeah, yeah. Thank Definitely you. Best I'll pies. take that award. <laughs> so, so, that, that. Thank you very much. Best pies. Go, Sam. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all enjoy the rest go of y'all's show. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm going to go and mess with some people. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We're it's kind of actually high. fun out there. It's what? It's, it's, a little, it's a little fun out there. I met this dude who's like a... Like my buddy Woobie, but he's six and a half feet tall. Looks just like him though. Like, just creep me out. Like, it looks like your buddy. You look just like my one of my best friends. <laughs> How tall is your best friend? Like four right, five. Like a... <laughs> Get back on that mic, boy. Well, that was a good little bonus round. Mm-hmm. Like that. Lots it's of win- bonus that a, rounds. That was man. a win-win situation, you right know, there. We had wayward. Mm-hmm. Wayward, wayward round. <laughs> no, somebody called him Wild Bill down, and I was like, "Yeah, this that's is, another wild." There's wild. I'm like, this Bill. is Wild Bill right here. I'm, no, I'm like, but he is wild. <laughs> you know, like he's how's like actually on Wayward pecan? Bill. How's, like, how's the pecan? It's, it's great. I'm of course, of course, of course, it's good. Look, I, and I really can't taste it. That's that. I don't taste either. any medication. In it. That's what I mean. I love, and that's what I'm talking about. I hate when it tastes like that green. You know, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of dig I it. Though. Yeah, no, I, 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 I do. Secretly, do. Yeah. secretly do. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. Tell me that. I always make edibles, and my friends are always like, "Jesus, this I can totally taste it." And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That green screws up my stomach, so I prefer to like. I, I'll take my butter and clean it out a few times to make oh, it golden. Yeah, it's better that way. I don't. Or I'm just saying, add a bunch of oil in no, there. No, I'm not saying you should have green. You definitely no, need to make your butter yeah. good. Yeah. But it's still, I like it when it has just that little tinge. There's like some little... There's weed little, in there. Yeah, you're like, okay. Oh. That it's, Melvinetics girl who brought those, like, they're the cookies that got lumped all together. Uh-huh. Shout out to Mel, Melvinetics. <laughs> Shout out. Love her. No, but, she's seriously, she's great. Yeah. I know. And what well, those edibles were like, the, one of the first ones on the show that worked on me. Like, you even saw it. You're all like, at the end, you're like, ah, I saw you. Yeah. Go down. <laughs> Going down. Well, you never funny. know. This could be the one. But no, like, I, the pies. I like mom. The pies, it took us out. No. Come on. <laughs> Not a pie. No way. No way. <laughs> we'll see. You better look in your goodie bag. Remember what you got. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? The mushroom thing. The mushroom thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't hide it. Divide it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kick, kick down. Yeah, you want some? <laughs> yeah. All right, there's four of us. There's two of those split in half. <laughs> Five. Yeah. I think there's four of those. Oh, shit. Uh, they're, just, they're thick or something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. So did you get to judge anything yet? Have you had any? No, we have it right there in front of us. Because well, that tells you what it is. It's bullshit. It's oh, cheating. Oh, don't say that. I can't. I can't. Did you enjoy the hazelnut? I can't. I did uh, from, from, from Exotic. Uh, I actually named it. So that's, <laughs> yeah, but That smells good. good. Um, this is Exotic as well. This is, is new stuff. Uh, this is that Cuban tech tricep. One smells like tange, uh, for the Colorado tange, and one smells like kind of like a Jackie something ish. Yeah, this one. That's weird. The Jackie ish or the tange ish? No, Jackie-ish. that that's one a- smells like Kenny. See, you both like look at the names and try to compare it to what it should no. be instead of just. This guess. is the Jack one right here. Just, just like flame. This is like the ripper smelling kind of. And that shit smells pretty damn good. What's that? 
Oh, he's he not. He knows. Uh, uh, he knows. I know. No, I know. I gave him a try. I, I can yeah, see. Yeah. It. I know. see the top. I can see the top. Yeah. Now, now Cuban, think about think, Cuban. about think about judging that. Like every time you'd see it, you'd know what it would be, and you'd be like, "Fuck." Well, I knew it was when you get. And I even asked you what it was like right away out of the gate. Yep. Like, that's like, you, you know, because he's so yeah. good. Mm-hmm. I want to do another shout out, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Cuban Tech. What up, buddy? Uh, make some killer, it's like killer stuff. Just the almost best. like a cat piss smell to it. It is Miami Haze and cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Yep, that's the uh, the Haze yeah, it's total cream. Miami and Haze. The, yeah. the cat piss was big yeah. in Florida. In the day. Yeah, yep. that's total Hazelnut. concentrated cat piss. Hazelnut cream. Can't get it. Yeah. Hazelnut. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's Haze. Oh, hazelnut, yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, right? yeah. thank you. Well, it's yeah, it's uh. So these are, these are the two testers. Like this is what we have to. Uh, I don't know, dude. This is, this this is, is about as organized as all these cups are. No, no, no. <laughs> Our, ours was good. We had a, we, we ours had is the best, bro. Ours is the only I'm one. Saying. Ours is the only one, bro. Double blinds. None of this. Oh, what it is. We we covered all bases. Even the first year we fucked up. When so we, I've got the new uh, part of my new part of my new. Uh, we did the contest. card thing. We fucked up because we never knew their cards, and then next year we fucked them all up. So no check this out. Cards, so check this out. The, the new James Bay Breeders Cup. Mm-hmm. So you would all everybody would start with the same cut from Maristem, same tissue culture, clean Maristem, tissue culture cut. So, and then nobody knows what it is. So you have to read the plant. You can't just bottle feed it by what it says. You have to be able to say, oh, it needs this now. It needs the human that. interaction. Exactly. And 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 uh, and that way because if if you just start with seeds, there's going to be different phenos. You're going to get, and it's not fair. If you got a better pheno than I had, then it's it's not it's not it's great. A or, it's a or, or, exactly. Or or if we're growing and you have a better pheno than, than than I have, I'll never have the, the genetic potential to grow as good as you did because it was never my fucking plant could never do it. Exactly. And, so, get the maximum, and so and so to even the playing field awesome. out, if you, if you start <clears> everybody awesome. from a, like, from a tissue culture, tissue like cut. cheese at first. All right, so like, you got like six like dudes, like all grow cheese. the same shit, and no, then you like, like fifty. Fifty. I'm sorry. Fifty guys all grow, the, and then you have to sit there and smoke so, the same weed oh, over and over and over and, and like fifty and, times. And see who did it the fucking best, because that's what it's about. Maybe you could give like say say each person like say there's fifty but, people, you get five strains and give ten people each strain, but, a different strain, and then so there's like variation. So you're not smoking fifty. I understand. Smoking 50 I understand. There could be a great yeah. extract artist, and he, just because he doesn't have the right material to work with, he's never going to be able to reach that top, that that top level. Just because the material you <laughs> oh, start right. with, this has never the, the potential taste. to smell to it right there. But if everybody started totally. the same platform, totally, then then, then everybody could try. And then the winner could go. That's good. You can't make chicken salad. Of what chicken is it? Chicken. That's that Miami you fucking haze. Chicken salad, of chicken shit. Right. Exactly. Right. And the pro class That's would be fire. nobody no, nobody would know what the clone was because then you have to read the plant. That's fire right there. What this one? Oh, fire. Yeah. Oh, shout out, shout out to Exotic. He just, he just got the, yeah. he just got fired on that one. Nice. Fuck yeah. The first part tastes like rotten cheese smell. Like out of the gate, you're like, well, that's weird. Like, and then it changed, and woo, it went through about five different phases. Nice. Like, and, and at the, the end, uh, and, 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 and it made my, awesome. the thing is, the thing is, really good hash will make my teeth hum. It's like, and, I, <laughs> and that told it was a teeth hummer. Like, me. Exactly. Once I get to that zone, I'm like, oh, I'm really high now. I'm getting to, my teeth are humming. Kind of the regular. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing? You're leaving us? I'm coming back. Anybody need anything? We need any snacks? We need Take a soda, water. Soda, water. Uh, bring waters. Water. Uh, waters. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Look at this mess I made. Look at this mess. I can't believe I spilled all those terps. It's ridiculous. Uh, spilled terps. What do you want? Le- yeah, I got it. Yeah, well, so kind of, yeah. I have nothing over here. So fucking oh, needy. Oh, dude, that's great. Yep. Needy, needy. Oh, Jesus. Um, he is, no. No, that's fire. That's fire. Oh, fire. No, and that's, uh, I believe, so that, that fire right there right now mm-hmm. is currently for sale on my site for forty two eighty eight a 12 pack. Pick it up now. Right? That's What's that? So what is it called? Hazelnut cream. Oh, hazelnut cream. That's right. You said that. Yeah. It is good. Good. I mean, no, this was at uh, Miami. What are you talking about? That, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this that he just dabbed. That we're trying to steal. Yeah, you just dabbed the... Same thing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you dabbed Chuck's stuff. Stealing thunder. No. So you see? See how dirty my thing is? It's all chazzed up. I just noticed oh, that. I've never chazzed. seen your pieces so dirty. The way all that one, I don't have any fucking Q-tips on me, and I'm too lazy, and I just said fuck it. And I'm, I have another. What? That sounds nothing like you. I don't believe that shit. It does. It sounds exactly like me. What are you talking about? All right. 
Nails are always Chaz, though. I have a Chaz, most Chaz nails of the year, 2008. Yeah. I have three years in a row of most Chaz nails I've been making. Yeah, I think if so. anything. I would, I had At a, least two a, years. Yeah, right. I haven't given a shit. Right? I, I, really, I have a really dirty bone. Because I just don't want, I don't But it's funny because I, I break little, things when you clean them. For a little while, I had it going on, and I was like, oh, I had to get, it's like if you just don't carry Q-tips with you everywhere you fucking yeah. go, it's done. You're like, oh. yeah. yeah. And then it's over. Once it's over, you're just like, bug it. Just burn it off. Make it red hot. Burn it off. <clears throat> so my buddy Michael has uh, put uh, rubbing alcohol in like one of those little spray bottles. Yeah. He just carries that around. I have a little alcohol jar that I carry with me. I yeah. Yeah. I just... Not a spray crazy, bottle. Though. I don't... Yeah. I'm just whatever. That's all. Chaz. Just call me Chaz. Chaz. Ooh, Chaz. that's right. <laughs> just call me Chaz. Um... The party's going off, dude. There's like more chicks than ever. What's going on? Why is there so I don't know. I'm sitting in the four dudes in the room. I tried to look at everybody's chair. We're the four, we're the four like dudes in the room. room. That's where the most, we're the most uh, talked about thing at the party right now. I know. What's up with the four dudes in the room over there? What are they doing? We're That's mysterious. Cool. Mysterious. Not joining in on the conversation. It's getting cackly out there, though. That's the only problem. You've got to be careful. It could get crazy. Empty, <laughs> 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 I could not handle it. He's like, no, <laughs> don't make it. Um, so. How long are you in town for? You're here until a, f- a few days, which is nice. I'm not going to tell you exact. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm here till like uh, till the fifth or the sixth. Yeah, it's a while. And uh, you're staying for one more day? No, I'll be here till Monday. I got Oh, good, good. Nice. <laughs> They're uh... doing Doug and Ian time tomorrow. Go see those guys. <laughs> see what they're up to. You getting snow down there down the t- today? Because we're getting. Because it felt like it when I was driving today. It's been like, getting cold, like negative two at night and stuff. What? And the only thing that keeps the whole place warm are the lights. So it's. I used to heat my house with my lights. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't want to waste the heat, no, you know. Fuck no. I pumped all, all ten of those thalies and fucking into my downstairs and then up 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 the laundry chute. The humidity's going up in there though, but. What you want to come and chat? Talk. Just get to hear me. Come oh, in here. All come, right. Come and talk. Yeah. Come and chat. What's going on? Chilling, you want, you want a chair, man? I mean, can I have a chair? No, yeah. you're not allowed to have a chair. No, I mean, you're barely you're worthy. A, yeah, you're just a guy that you're just some is, guy, is dude in the room, dude in the room. This is Chris. <laughs> I don't know if he's been in here yet. Uh, no, thank you. Here, switch, switch seats, get in the lounge seat, be loungy over there, and just make your comments like you would normally. <laughs> the peanut gallery, yeah, just yeah. get in the peanut gallery where you belong, anyway. In, in, too. in the turnout gallery. <laughs> What? <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk, Chris. We need to. We need to know where we are, what we're doing, why we're here. Why we're so special? We're nice. figuring it out. We're doing pretty good. We're, we're figuring it out. We're in the zone right now. We're in the zone. Everyone's like, "Where are you in the cactus room?" We're in the cactus room. Is what it's officially called now. Is, what do you call this room? Do you have a name? Cactus room. Oh, dude, we nailed it. The chat gang nails it. I call the it the ca- green room, the solarium, <clears throat> the cactus room. From now on, it's my favorite place to smoke in the winter. <coughs> it's the baseboard heaters. <laughs> I put this one in when it gets really cold. I make it even warmer. Yeah, I noticed you were overkilling it in the middle in here. Oh, it shit. Out. You were amping it up. I come downstairs. <laughs> I turn on the heat. Yeah. I boil up the water. <laughs> I got a joint coffee in a room at 63 degrees in about five minutes. Everything happens. In perfect routine every morning. Nice. Nice. So we're in your, we're in your morning zone where you're out. You, where you where you're letting your balls hang out. Great. <laughs> this is where his uh, balls are hanging no, out. No, no, no. I, I love this place. I'm, I'm, my <laughs> grand, I'm my grandmother's kid. I don't leave my room unless I'm fully dressed. So I'm uh, dressed. I'm ready out the room. Uh, okay. All right. So maybe I can leave the house, go to 7-Eleven by the time I get down here for coffee. Yeah. But this is a beautiful house. Thank um, you. You've been here for a while, right? Almost six years. Yeah. That's like... Uh, and it's pretty interesting having this is obviously historical. I'm assuming it's like the early 1990s. 1899. 1899. Wow. Got a party like it's 1899. So I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I don't know anything about the first owner, but I know a little bit about the second owner. His name was Doctor Irvine. Oh. Uh, doctor didn't cut people open. He wasn't a physician, but he was making money when people with tuberculosis were flocking to Colorado for altitude, uh-huh. lack of humidity, yeah. and um, a large quantity of cherry cannabis-based elixirs that were being sold out here in the West. Can, can, can cherry you, cannabis? Can yeah, you had, you had cannabis-based elixirs that were being taken by people that were coughing. It was, it was numbing the esophagus. Mm-hmm. It was all part of that pharmacopoeia before mm-hmm. 1929 when it all started to disappear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he made a lot of money selling this stuff. Hmm. This and is made enough. The, so this guy in the house, second is, owner, oh, and he made nice. a lot of money selling uh, snake oil and cherry elixirs. And bought this house in nineteen. Not, not snake oil. 
Well, that's the well, funny thing know, is that's like that's the nice word for it. I mean, the thing is that the reality is it probably worked better than anything else because it actually had some fucking. Yeah. It, it, if it was somebody who had some access to some decent shit, but it it's was, just like anything is like now there's good and bad in CBD. It was being in Colorado. That's what it was. It's just the best place to be. But it's interesting that he was. Uh, I mean, that's because that to me is the weirdest thing that the whole CBD cherry connection on the plant like when so, it's like like because you're like wait a minute it can't taste so much like cherries and right. it does cherry ones i know was the heirs family i know these the the, the descendants of this guy uh charlie heirs a-y-e-r-s <laughs> or e-s he ran across the country was one of the most famous cherry based uh snake oil salesman sorry i keep using that word it was no, no. a historical term well uh, it's a snake oil until you see like a five-year-old going to like a grandma seizure and they give her like two drops of this and she stops and you're like what Whatever we're doing is, today I, 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 I hey, is that we're sneakling. getting Here's to your cop. do now. Here's your cop. <laughs> She's going to handcuff me. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, no, as long as it's on camera. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He saw her earlier and he's like, you were the, actually the, for one of the... For one the of two most people that walked through the door, they were the ones like most likely to be the undercover officers that were just raiding the fucking parties. <laughs> so I was, you know, well, I at least your radar is still on point, you know? I know. It's always good to have that. I missed the mark. Yeah. But yeah, the whole cherry uh, yeah, 100% connection is just weird yeah. to me. It's just kind of like the, one of those things where I was like, huh, it's so funny that... The thing that works so good and with so many, uh, you know, real conditions happens to have a cherry profile. And then it's, it's like, did somebody, because they, it seems like they were really into tinctures at the moment, right? So that was the thing of the right. time. So it's not like that right. complicated for them to make. There was a spectrum. We, we, we had that friend. Cough syrup and you shake it up. Yeah. And they wanted to, they wanted to mix the whole point of it. And like, you know how it is with cough syrups and stuff. It always, you always have to shake it or something, especially the old stuff because it had alcohol in it, you know, so it would be separating at some point. So what, perf, we, what perfect thing to put cannabis in, you know what I mean? Is it we have that based? friend from, from, from Ohio that's a lawyer who's in the GW who has all the old, old bottles. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, what's his name? Yes. Yes. And so, <laughs> yes. yes. What's his name? Bottles what's are his a name? snapshot yes. of what small enterprise looked like at a time in like the 1800s and 1900s. Yep. And it works. And it says cannabis right on the it front works. in 1902. Yeah. And it's still the. Imagine uh, if we didn't get prohibition, what we would have figured out. But here we so, are. Well, that's the thing that's so funny is that it's like, uh, I think in the next 10 years, we'll do as much as we would have done anyway in the last 100 years just because. The infusion we're so, of all the Canadian money. We're so gung, yeah, and we're, well, yeah, and we're so gung, we're so gung ho to do it. There's so many people fucking just gunning for it, like God, I American it ingenuity. It's, it's what happens in this country when you take off the blinders, when you take off the restrictions, mm -hmm. and the it's it's just the sheer capacity of people, the creativity just sitting at this table. Yeah, will each come up with maybe the same thing from four different directions. I already came up with the mile high pie. Yeah, that's okay. what's going to already gave it to her. Gave <laughs> it to her. Handed ten, it to her like it was just like... 10%. 10%. Oh, yeah. You got You're it. You're going to yeah, have to... You know. you know, I don't know if those verbals over the radio... <laughs> Come your on, podcast. man. You're on camera even. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, You're sorry. so busted. I didn't, I didn't are, realize. Yeah, you are so. so busted right now. Like, totally. yeah, see, that's it. That's how we get politicians. Uh, we get them on the podcast. Here's my, here's my advice. Get a little loosey -goosey. Here's my advice. Um, some people came through this town. They did one of those productions. They did it here in my house. And they turned out to be relatively unscrupulous businesswomen. Really? And so a friend of mine's got a company now they never did the support they were supposed to he's kind of building something they're giving him heat they want their cut and i told them first off he was high when he signed that contract okay there are laws in every single state right. to talk about whether or not you can I, I, I sign contracts laws. intoxicated and i told him you two can't deny he was high whether when it's he a cannabis contract or not it's still whether it's, yeah, it's a contract that's contract. a legitimate yep. and then the next thing was they were trying to enforce all this stuff through him through me and you can't enforce on a person through a third party so the contract is the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. And if, if people that are first, second, third generation mm -hmm. that are still the early pioneers of legal cannabis don't still figure out some of this contract stuff, this next wave, it, it, it's going to become bland, plain, predictable Michelob weed. Well, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to live with in that the price, world. With the price the way it is, you, you can only imagine that anybody who comes in who's coming in now on the front end is 
is like they're hmm. they haven't seen the struggle at all. Like they sure. just think, oh, because what's going to happen is the federal money, federal thing will happen, and the money will flow like a motherfucker, right. like and it'll be a sudden, commodity. And all of a sudden, it'll be like what? You all, know, all, like the, all the middle every, red states will go start growing. Every up strip over. mall is going to just be like blah 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 blah. You know, boom! It's like it's going to be crazy. But it's it's. I mean, overall, it's great. You know what I mean? It's, Scott it, at Rodecta shared a post recently about. Uh, uh, 30,000 plants getting cold in the Canadian grow because they couldn't get the staff to harvest it and then have the facility yet to cure it. And they just wiped it out, but it was one of these Canadian public companies. Uh So the fact that they grew it is what appreciated the stock. Yeah. It quadrupled in value, so it's worth so much more that they could afford to lose 30,000 plants probably three, four, five times before these businesses would struggle. Sure. Where you talk about an industry still for most growers, could you handle that in a shop? Could you handle a complete like that? No, no. But, but loud, loud pack lost a seventy thousand dollar facility to their fire. Right, I saw three that. months ago. Yeah, but but they, I'm sure they had insurance at the essence, so they could oh. they could afford it. But yeah, who insures that though? Yeah, right, well, and Lloyd, are they truly insuring Lloyd, it? Lloyd's of London. Lloyd's of London. <laughs> and I know that they've paid out on on uh, Hazel. Yeah, they're they're, they're actually paid out on Hazel's uh, uh, field. Uh, oh yeah, see, you know, they're, they're, they're exactly. candy, just just not the US. That's why I got those new chairs. So you can nice and tight, you know, <laughs> snuggling up. But no, the uh, <clears throat> yeah, the first. Well, the problem is that we're so. Um, relaxed with each other if you're talking about literally those pioneer first generation people and we had so many because it was never meant anything didn't matter because there's nothing's legal when, sure. you're, when you're doing something that's not legal it's not it doesn't matter when we get a thousand contracts between each yeah. other it doesn't mean shit tell now that things are getting me? legal it's almost like it's it's weird because most people are like it's it's uh, well, our, our good example, our friend Chris Cassis, right? Didn't he just yep. get his ass handed to him literally by yep. by some, you know, doing yeah. just, just Cor- going with the corporate wrong... was there for a year, riding all his gear, had worked all his strains, had done all his stuff, and once yeah. he had his shit, basically, we're like, well, contract's over, we're not going to re- resign. T- an IP, IP, yeah. IP is what you all totally. still harbor and possess now. But the problem is, <coughs> but he's not saying him that, that, that the industry is so new that people aren't thinking that ahead of that. Saying they say, like saying, I, I have a, I have an intellectual property. This is mine. I'm going to bring this to the table, and this is what I, it's worth. The problem with the IP part, though, is that like it's, it's because you're handing out unless unless you're trying to create like some sort of Terminator gene plant that doesn't allow pollen to you know, touch close, it, and close. it's like some. And you could do that. <laughs> you can do all that's possible. But it's like unless you're doing, if you're just like, hey, here's some normal seeds, and you can. Get a male and a female, then all of a sudden, okay, well, now you've given the option to the person to take those and cross them with something else. And you can't really hold anybody too uh, accountable. You can. I mean, classically today, I saw some post with some seeds that were, you know, all sage with the acronym of sage. And I'm like, eh, a little too much. You know what I mean? So I posted to the guy. He didn't, it wasn't him. And he just, you know, bought him at a, he <laughs> bought him at a shop. So I'll... Follow that lead. I'll be like, what's the sage you got here, so, buddy? So, so here's, 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 here's my, my, trace it down. Who sage is this? But, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm I'm just happy if a the person whoever they are is is recognizing like putting THCs on it somewhere. So I say, okay, that helps. You me. could be Inspector Dunn. Yeah, Inspector Dunn and proves done. whether or not that sage is sage yeah. or not. Yeah. You know, it's either sage certified or it's sage. Huh. It it smells there. like sage. Let's exactly. smoke it. Let's see if it's really sage. And you would be like, no. <laughs> that one's a little off. That's the, fo- <laughs> that, that's the focus sage. Somebody use that cat piss in the finishing fluid again. <laughs> that cat piss is fire. Did you have- so you had some of that obviously already. Well, you haven't had that yet. Nope. You have a little cat piss here? That's cat pissy haze uh, stuff. It's the Miami haze. Right? Oh, the, the, that that's smells like cat piss. That's how you say had some real cat piss. Real cat real, piss. See how excited people, grown men, getting excited over cat piss right. on the Adam Dunn show weekly. Close. Pretty much. That's our. That's like our. That's our commercial right there. there. No, we just did it. No one ever forgets. See, yeah. that's the strangest. Never forget. <laughs> Yeah, there's you know, and and there's been there's been others that have tried dumpster, and, you know, there's been there's been those those ones who have tried to be worse. We're worse. We're we're dirtier. We're the original plan was that the police dogs wouldn't like it. <laughs> Find it out a feeling. <laughs> well, you know, the interesting thing with dogs is that they're, I mean, a they're getting phased out a lot. Well, of I, I, we have yeah. told all the dogs that weed's legal now to not bark at it, <laughs> and they believe it. So I don't know what you're talking about. They bought it. Man's best friend. Yeah. They totally bought it. There yep. were more yep. cool, cool people smoking yep. weed. Just for <laughs> they got along with yep. dogs. Weed's and the rest cool of now, so don't bark at it. So, yeah. so I've yeah. never seen. I've never seen. Uh, 
dogs lately at all going hitting on weed. Yeah. No, only it. drug dogs are the beagles Have coming in, back in through customs still. And that's just anything yeah. organic. No matter if it's weed. Yeah, yeah, they're they're looking for apples. It, yeah, I've it, seen it, people get their no, bags it, taken it, over a piece of fruit. It's mostly for apples and <laughs> yeah. fruit is the 98% of the time. Went, oh, I left it in my bag. You know what I mean? That happens all the time. But, uh, but that's the beagle. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the agricultural dog. So, but still, there's not a... There's not the weed canine is mostly because they're just not they're phasing them all out. Like, no, it's get, bombs. They want people to be safe. Yeah, money. Yeah. They have the money dogs yeah. everywhere. Money they got dogs. the fire. <laughs> like, well, they, they do have money dogs. Of course they have money dogs. No, and that's no. the whole thing. They have, dogs so, are only trained for one fucking thing. So they don't have like multi dogs. So, like, bombs are money dogs. Like, that's money dogs. My <laughs> Oregon lawyer told me that like he thinks they have a pound up at FedEx, and they just because like he hasn't like that's the main thing of, of his cases right now. Yeah. is money getting to is sent, sent back in. Yeah, it's not getting sent out. It's that she comes back in. Yeah, and so they just get a heavy box. You get a, a letter in the mail that says we have a box that you should we feel is it should. Not what are you talking like this like experience here? You're like oh. And then they send oh, you yeah. a letter, and then you have like, hey, where's my box of money? Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 you want to come pick up the box? Exactly. Come. They're like, would you want to oh. pick up the box and we'll look into the case? And if not, then just leave it for twenty days and it's forfeited. And so it's like, uh, okay, it was, it was forfeited. But that's well, because more, oh. most of his cases are in that right now. You can just say, you know, hey, what? I roll around with two cases of money. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. Well, if you don't have a bank anymore, right? You figure, yeah. you figure it out. Just, just I keep handing those credit cards out there now, right? Credit card processing. Uh, from for well, cannabis? Jesus, yeah. no. Don't, 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 don't tell this guy. <laughs> it's happening. I, I, I pay 20% processing. Oh, my God. I have a guy. 20% I, I was standing in line at the um, Vegas show, and there was a guy there, and it was classic because I was trying to, like, fish for you. As yeah. for, and, like... Of course, he didn't even fucking do. Pro- we're we're doing we're getting exactly. around to do it. Oh, they've been getting around to the last yeah. fucking five years. Yeah, and I'm like, oh well, that's not gonna help. But he was, oh yeah, we'll do anything. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Yep, 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 no, yep, yep. And I'm like, will you do this? And he's like, no. So, <laughs> there you go. I just want to bang my head against the wall with fucking repeatedly and, and nail needles needles in my head. Have you ever thought about doing the whole like sell gift cards? And then that's a lot. Yeah, I mean that's a, uh, uh, sell gift like cards points, or, or, right? or 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 there's there's one company so that you would actually preload your money onto the card right. and that card can then buy that's whatever what you want about. to. Yeah. yeah. And so we've done that. We've done that route, but there's still a, there's still a major pain in the ass, and they're not they're not completely gotcha. gamblers friendly. Like it, and, and it's funny because they say that you know don't support the cartels. Well, the cartels are the only motherfuckers who are taking my credit card. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all would give me back my domestic, I'd be paying one point five percent on every order. Which country are you going through? Mexico. Jeez. I went through China. China took seventy five grand from me. Next thing I know, their website's down. Their phone isn't answered. And fuck it, I'm not Jackie Chan. I'm, I've seen those movies. <laughs> Yeah, you I, can't, I go, to, can't go to China and go <laughs> no, Jackie Chan. I'm no. here Come to on. get my 1-800 number turned back <laughs> right, on. Right. And where's all my money that's been collected? I, exactly. So I chased it down. And they're like, well, it's between 12 banks. Three of them are in South Korea, and the other three are in China. And I was oh, like, speaking of South Korea, you heard that they uh, like, legalized. Fuck. They did. So yeah. now you're gonna have, you have a reason to go. No, you got a no. place to get weed. No. And you got to get your money. No. <laughs> no. <I was> <laughs> your, money is, your money is in and South come Korea. Come in with all your seeds. I've seen those movies. Have you not been answering the email? You know, they've been trying to get in touch with you. The guy's sitting It's in his apartment. <laughs> no, so Mexico. They transferred it to Nigeria. It's halfway to you. Mexico's is who's that? That's, oh, yeah. that's the other ones. You can know somebody in Nigeria. I, maybe. I, I, I guess I got a guy. <laughs> let me so, let me hook you up after. He's really so maybe cool. you can convert <laughs> cannabis for like minutes, like cell phone minutes. I'm moving to Mexico. Service. That's what I'm doing. You are. Yeah. After the hookup. So you're keeping? Are you keeping everything in pesos? Um, no, I'll just have my bank just pay my other bank in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Fuck the U.S. Where in Mexico? Um, Rosarito Beach. How's your Spanish? The Baja. Is, is, is muy bueno. Yo necesito poquito. There you go. You're good. You're good with that. You're yeah. in. Yeah. Well, just, we, we're so, <laughs> at least be able to eat. So, so I was there doing my dental when I got when I got some dental work done, which we knew I, pre, I later pre, pried off my fucking braces. So it was Wait, cool. You didn't like the braces? No, I pried them off one night. Invisalign's the thing they do in America. Exactly. exactly. So I was like, this, you, you, I was had like go, you had to go to Mexico fucking... to find out you didn't want braces from the well, 70s. No, I, I had so like you had seven crowns. Come back here for and Invisalign. And I just added the braces at the end. I was like, well, why not? It's a thousand bucks. Huh? And then I hated it. But um, So yeah, I was there, though. I drove down to Rosarito option. Beach. Fucking uh, 1100 bucks, two bed, two bath condo, sixth, de- sixth floor. Cool. Cheaper than what I pay for now. I was like, man, that's that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, like you said, more cami or something. Right? Like that. Live down there, you still travel? Kind of a, yep. And still be an American? I still have to be at all trade shows. Can, still got to pay American can, 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 uh, taxes. Well, I feel like if I bring money in the United States. For 10 years? Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, that's that one. Every chance for that one. No, it's not for that one. don't pay for taxes. Okay. But, um, it's the one place they're still looking to. Right, they, that's, uh, that's the one place they got Capone. 
Yeah. The tax stuff. So one place to go. No, for sure. That's what that's, I got good tax guys. We pay for yeah, that shit. Yeah, I got guys. I got guys. It's a good so thing to have. I have more <laughs> fucking lawyers this year, and they're not the same. Like a tax lawyer is not the same as a fucking. No, they're attorney. not. And you each guy pay one each five grand for their fucking retainer. It's I tell the criminal lawyer, you want, you want to learn security? He's like, I'm done with criminal law. You want, I said, you want to learn securities law? So we start talking. He's like, oh, I'm going to stick with criminal law. Yeah. <laughs> Let me introduce my friend. You got to pay him a fucking the, the deposit. Or right, retainer. but as a business person, you have the Sucks. privilege and benefit of getting to learn all of those schools of law. Yes, and it's like, why do I need all of you guys? Can't just one guy take care of everything, no. right? Right. No. So you do you do the incorporation and the trademark, right? No, no. I just do the trademark. Oh, oh okay. Yes, that's so, a different guy. Okay, who's going to do the licensing? Who's the compliance one? Well, that's that's actually a different company. Then, how many entities <laughs> are you wearing, and are all the entities rightfully represented by the same individual, well, or do you have inherent conflicts that you really need to well, well, shelter me, and create between your multiple entities? Most likely, your management. So you're probably going to have to your, open like six different shell companies and base them all out of Wyoming first. So Wyoming. Then, uh, is the only thing you do something in Wyoming is you get an RV because they let you get the license plate at a P.O. box. So you're, you're in financials, my friend. Enough to know that I can get a P.O. box in uh, Wyoming and I register a, a second home as an RV. I have a, I have a P.O. box in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> With the RV, I don't, but... Uh, yeah, no, it's been a bitch. It'll be nice when they can fucking uh, when the banking comes through and all that shit done. And now with G- and now with GW Pharmaceuticals just recently getting that one thing FDA approved, they've got to legalize. It. I mean, they got to do banking. So I just bought a new business, a hotel, four twenties in the address, and my just intention happens to be four twenty East Eleventh Avenue, Patterson in Denver, Colorado. Boom. Uh, the idea is not open. Take it. It's totally open. It's been oh, open it's for open. six years. It's been open for six oh, years. No, it's oh open. You're not. Open yeah. oh, that's why you years. couldn't give me no good great deals because you weren't even really there yet. I get it now. It makes no sense. You've never been to the cactus room. No, whenever I think you've ruined, literally, we would have ruined it for you. We were like, this, you're gonna hire. You're gonna these are the kind of people. I had to shut the. I've shut the place down for a week. Got a, a TV broadcast coming. I can't say who, what, when, or no. where. Actually, yeah. I can say when. February 11th. Yeah. A three-hour episode. Everyone's gonna get to see the house. Three uh, hours, Jesus yeah. Christ. Viceland. It must be only. It's all porn. It's all so, porn. So, so I, I hope not. It's porn. Come on. No. Look at they don't Chuck knows. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Porn doesn't pay. They just, just rent out a warehouse for that shit. They rent out mansions. They do. Yeah, they, they, they do. They rent out mansions. They, they ruin the sheets. That. It's an absolute yeah. nightmare. I watch cheap <laughs> porn then. Oh, yeah. You're the cheap. Yeah. The yeah. hotels. They, yeah. Do, they do rent something. I mean, it's always now Airbnb must be very. Uh, we don't know anything about that. Oh, we're not allowed anymore. We, <laughs> we, we, we ruined. He has not, he's not allowed to do it. I got, I got one of the worst letters ever written about me for that. Uh, remember, <laughs> so in, in my hotel, you get to do two wow. things. One, you get to vape in any of the rooms, uh, which is legal right now. And you can also smoke in the two rooms and patios. So we're pretty friendly, taking advantage of the name, the address. So we got we, we, 420. We got a connection for you. Yeah, somebody, it's connection. Somebody, somebody who does uh, black entertainment. Black, black entertainment. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> who's, who's, no, who's, higher who's, way? Higher way. Higher way, tra- higher way travel. Higher, higher way, way travel. She would just, She does. She specializes in renting out other people, other people's properties for kind of this friendly. Yeah. yeah, no, no, I know. This you is know, uh, this. April. Yeah, they got April. 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 April black. Yeah. All right. Exactly. You owe me April. Oh. Ten percent, ten percent, April. If you're talking to me and you, and, she and, was on the show last week. Yeah, yeah. still mad at me and. She's mad. Man, man. Get over it. Make what the you money. do? What Cursing you do? my name. But, you know, what you do? It's not my fault. What get happened? It. Not I didn't my do fault. It. What happened? Nope. Tell us. Don't let your friends vandalize my house. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, don't drag this stuff up. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> Does he not know who we're talking about? He's already like, oh yeah, there's lost. Bobby. Bobby's fine. Bobby's welcome back. He Bobby. behaves. Bobby. Oh, oh you had high times people here. There's that's the problem. Yeah, they couple, want couple, couple. Sometimes you know, a couple, a couple can't come back. Really. Danko. Oh, yeah. No, Danko is fine. Danko's always welcome. Danko Danny's allowed is, in my Dan- yard Danko off leash is anytime. Danko's not a great guy. He's got, no, he is he's, one he's of the, got a new book. One of the one of the one of the good souls yeah. in the whole thing. And we saw Joe Pete. Damn, Joe getting, Pete, you uh, throw a blow at him. We're but. getting down to nobody. Everyone knows who they are now. How's Rick doing? How's Cusick? <laughs> <Kusek? laughs> How's Rick Cusick doing? Uh, he was sick for a while there. I know. Is he better? I don't know. I don't we know all better that. check. He's know. one of the best storytellers still Rick. breathing in this space. Rick's awesome. Rick, yeah. you feel me in? I'm uh, does it look good? A uh, guy with a beard a little bit longer than Adams. Whiter. <laughs> well, but, you'll get there. But well, storytellers still have strains? No, I wouldn't say I'm working on it, but it's happening. What? It's storytellers of strains? No, he was... Um, no, he uh, was Rick Cusick was a long-time, high-time sales guy. Okay. Uh, editor for a period of time. A skinny guy, uh, bushy beard. 
real, I mean, just animated, just right. huge, big, big, big. He's just a big guy, gets in front of a microphone, he just takes it over, he tells a story like Bilby's business. So, right. yeah, we love her. And he's got a super young chick, so he's. That's his daughter. So. Oh, <laughs> no. Stop. No. So no, no, she's 19 no. now. No. Relax. I'm talking about oh, his own actual girl. <laughs> no. no. And not she's 19. So the one in all the pictures all the time? Yeah, stop. No. Oh, not now Lord. in pictures lately. I'm talking I think I before. Go. Didn't you have a young girl? Yeah. That younger girl was 16 at the time. That was his daughter. No. I got to get out of here. It's time to go. <laughs> no, it's not it's his daughter. To go. No, I'm telling you. Is this what this show's about? Exactly. I would have just said his, his chick was hot and it would have been over but Gosh. instead you pointed out it happened to be <laughs> 18 year old daughter well, you actually kept here. saying young I, and that was young, the... he, I thought he had a young chick <laughs> that was, she does, that's his daughter at 16 stop <laughs> <laughs> nah he's good people he's good people he's a great father no, he's yeah. good. Yeah. you know. have a grinder Grinder. No. This is Colorado, bro. There's no bro. Yeah, you just rub it together, man. Just grind it together. Yeah, bro, it. just leave it out for five minutes. No, it is. It's Colorado. So there, there yeah, is, there should, roller. there should be a grass grinder. Tell roots, everyone they can grass grass grinder you or? Dry bar. Uh, up front. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Just maybe grind it there and, and leave it there. We're, we're winding, <laughs> we're winding down yeah. anyway. We're down. We're coming close to, to our to our mark, man. Our shit's Are these uh, now the that I'm talking about cake people's pops. kids? It's time yes. to start, yes. time to shut down the stuff. Shut down everything. Woo, let's get out of here. Uh, They're coming. Too, They're coming. They're coming, bro. I'm sure, he doesn't remember. <laughs> what? I'm gonna eat that cake pop because somebody forgot it. Oh no, you, he's gonna cry. Uh, I was just saying, no, it's I think finders keepers. Right? Keepers. Oh shit. So. so where are we? What are we doing? Yeah. He's stealing so, on, so, he's so stealing we're, on we're, camera. We're, like, we're, we're literally, literally, like with intention. Who is it? Do we you know who like, it is? You'd be so is. unable oh. to, like, yeah. If you so, cry, then. now you know whose it is. <laughs> you know whose it is. You said you, you might do it. Don't cry. It's on camera. I'm pretty sure you get caught at this point. I'm pretty sure you, it so, is. There's yeah. too many things working against me. Yeah. So your bed and breakfast is located at 420. East 11th Avenue, Denver, Colorado. And then you find you at the website. PattersonInn.com. But what will it be called when you take it over finally? The 420 Denver. I took it over. I've owned it for 184 days. Okay. It's operating. It's doing all its things. The liquor license, is it restaurant that, is license, it really? cabaret okay. license, oh, and lodging license all oh, converted wow, really? officially on Friday last week. Call him up. Book tomorrow. Jeez. Booyah. So PattersonInn.com. There you go. How many rooms? Nine. And how many people total? Like if, uh, if you like, one room, room has two beds, a queen and a king, so it could sleep 20. Okay. <laughs> and we do whole house uh, rentals. If you do a whole house rental, you pick up, you can now have some guests in for some dining stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a 50-person event space and then a 30-person bar in the basement. Got to work out like 20. Right. Meters. So I've got like 13 rooms for the Emerald Cup with all you guys. Thirteen rooms. Yeah. So a little smaller than that, but if you did something in Denver, some of the same people then are already living here. Yeah, so totally, totally. It's more so, base camp for some of the more uh -huh. extracurriculars. There you go. We, because we, we, the, ten percent, bro, so right here. So here's the here's the funny. Ten percent here. I started. We talked about ten percent this way. I've, I've, I've only, I've only done it uh, with everybody. Ten percent. MTI you wants ten percent. I, I did it. I did it with two couples. <laughs> And, and let me tell you what I did with them. All right. We got along so well. We got along so well at the hotel. <laughs> it's getting weird. We got Show's along so well at the happy hour at the hotel <laughs> right. that uh -oh. I invited him back here to my house oh, to come no. hang out in the owner's oh, lounge. Oh so my sweet. god! And so being nine blocks so away, cool. it was you know it was an easy place to say <laughs> this is not the commercial space. This is my home. Good crash. And then I can invite you over to come get high. So I've done that a couple times. Yeah. Well, with uh, two couples. Picking up two couples of the bars. At the what bar now? I have a bar in the basement of my hotel. Oh, of your own place. Yeah, so I serve better. happy hour every, oh, even every night to the guests. I got you. So tell the same three lure stories. Lure them in. Lure them in there. Get them really, really drunk. They tell me ghost stories. And then drag them back here and tell them ghost stories and bring them down to your, no, they tell to your me, dungeon. They tell me <laughs> ghost <laughs> to stories. To the dungeon. Most fascinating thing. We didn't I, even go to the dungeon yet. No, this room is beautiful. Though. One of the most oh. haunted houses in the country, it's uh, they say. One of the top ten. This one? Mine. The, Yours? The hotel. Oh. Oh, oh, so we shouldn't have put that part in. I was looking oh, at Oh, by the way, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's top ten. Top, top ten. On it. Top ten. Here. Trust me, some people really find that kind of cool. <laughs> I ain't praying no ghosts. I got ghosts. Oh, <laughs> I'm calling Ghostbusters. I am. I am. Um, I, 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 I'm bringing a backpack, dude. What, what I believe today, shit. six months later, is different than what I believed when I bought this place. And it's simply because I've served so many drinks to so many guests at happy hour, having them tell me the same shit. Well, because they're all drunk. We don't drink. 
They're like, ah, I see a thing over there. And you're like, yeah, that's a Miller, that's Fred. Miller sign, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so blurry. <laughs> so, go. Uh, there, there's one room in particular that gets the most, but it's because guests go. There's a little uh, hidden hallway down to a little nook tower room. Uh-huh. And so, so guests go down there at night, and their hands are rubbing against the wall, and that's what people in this room are hearing. That's already so. pretty cool, though. A little, little tower way, a little be- a little, yeah. It sounds like a pretty cool little house. Huh? Like it's built for ghosts, you know? Ah, there is indeed. <laughs> for ghosts. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be good if you built it so that you built it properly so that it was exactly like you said, like where they would freak each other out, you know what I mean? Because they'd right, be like, the ghosts would just like, scare each other. <laughs> they'd be like, I'm freaking out. Like, I'm freaking out. It'd be like just a bunch of people freaking each other out just because every time you touch this thing, they're thinking they're oh my gosh, like, ding, yeah. ding, ding, or something. You know I mean? Like, why is this not working? And all of a sudden over there, thing is like, bling, blong, bling, yeah, blong. It's like, what? It's definitely looks haunted, right? Yeah, everything's yeah. so haunted. So that's the space I, down did you see that haunted dispensary on front. some show? No. Did you show that? It was in... No, I already sent it. I think it was in Oregon. Did you see the haunted dispensary in Oregon? <laughs> Did you see it? And they showed like the Ooh, look at our deals. <laughs> showed, they showed, <laughs> now they showed a counter. And Have you like, seen our prices? It's like, like three like, bucks a gram. Okay. Stuff was going like this. Boom! Like, prices went up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> 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 no, but they'll try anything to get you in the doors. It's, yeah. it's and the guy's like, ah. Yeah, it was that yeah, was pretty ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah. Any fucking way. So, um, so. Patterson, Patterson, Patterson in and U.S. Then, Senator Thomas Patterson, and then um, that's what you were. No, that's what he was. Oh, I was like, Damn. when you say top ten most haunted, is that like, <laughs> is that, that like, uh, <laughs> like first page of Google? You're gonna see it right there. Boom. I'm the blazing senator, man. You didn't yeah. hear about me. Well, I did, but I heard you turned governor, and then I just didn't do everything I was supposed to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam, you were saying you got cut off. No, I was saying if you uh, if you look up, like, say, look up most haunted places in America, this really is pops up in the top. Patterson, top. it's the Croke, C-R-O-K-E, Patterson Campbell Mansion. Wow. And, yeah, it's on every single haunted walking tour in Denver. Wow. No. Yeah. That sounds good. You're getting your money's worth now. So I wish they would have cups to get in Denver. Suppose last time they had a cup in Denver. So, last time we had a cup in Denver was uh, before they shut it down. Before it legalized. Why didn't somebody apply for one of these single-use permits becomes the question. A year after it legalized. Uh, because they're so restrictive and ridiculous and probably not worth it in the end unless you... Depends. I mean, like, for instance, 420 event. I mean, that's They're not like, worth it and the city's right. But where's the innovative business people we were just talking about before... Mm-hmm. And I look, maybe there's a little bit of shell shock. A lot of people did some really creative stuff and then got bit. Mm-hmm. You tried, got bit. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to step out too much right now because it's like they're they're gonna do something soon, and we're all gonna. I mean, I think it's. I think with uh, Polis, it's gonna be interesting because open season. We're getting tasting rooms. We're, we're getting. F- we're finally gonna get the outlawed felons for growing hemp. Problem with tasting rooms. Have you talked about this building? You know what's going on well, with this? Well, they're not going to let you do flour. It's only going to be vape pens. No, it's going to be. Nope, you're wrong. No, they're, gonna do, they're no. talking about Heaven. allowing mm-hmm. uh, places where they're limited volume, limited employees, yeah. using some of the fusions of the club models. But the what restriction is is that the door and the security to get in has to be equal to a medical dispensary or to, okay. a, rec, to a rec dispensary. So you need the security at the door. Mm-hmm. ID checks, sticking yeah. badges, and it just it gets it gets a little onerous when you start talking about that stuff. And it's it's just a continuation of the of the model that already exists, which is great. And I don't know. I, do, do you think tasting rooms should be attached to current dispensaries, or are these other types of businesses that should exist? Somewhere I think else? they should It'd be like a coffee shop in Amsterdam. Okay, so you'd like yeah, it'd be like wine that's attached to a wine spot. Sure, sure. Yeah. might treat it differently. I mean, sure. it's already there. It's already working. I mean. But there's still a lot of public gatherings or, or, or spots to get. Like, what, what makes me crazy is so well, whatever so, you did, it wouldn't be a problem. It wouldn't be a problem where you would end up, uh, uh, you know, like oh my god, people are fucking so high. They're walking in front of trains or something. Well, they, well, they allow drunk people a bar to you go call sober up at. Style. But but we don't get a place to go sober up for smoking weed. You know what I mean? It works. Unbelievable. Huh? It does actually. But. I can take a break. Fighters, See, I can know. take a little break there and just talk to you instead of stressing out and being all because uh, you know. Because <laughs> that's what you used to do. <laughs> no, because that's because you end up fucking having to do rolling in weird places all the time. So <laughs> you have to figure out a way to 
protect your shit. It's almost like you know, going against the like roll in your safety zone. Find your safety zone. Exactly. I can roll anywhere in any situation. I can roll people screaming behind my ear. Bring this contest on. Well, there's been times where it's been like, and it, I was saying the other day, like I was sitting in a room sometimes, but like really nobody in here can roll a joint. Like fuck, I guess I'm rolling. So. Like the other day. I, <laughs> I guess I'm rolling. Yeah. That's what I'm rolling. Every time I'm with, it, with him, no, no matter where we go, driving, whatever, he just uh, get, gets in and starts rolling. Join. Well, everybody it looks at me all weird and goes like, uh, uh, you can roll, I guess. Cause, I mean, anyway. So that's what you're going to do with like, a cake pop? No of one, No one can eat it. You're going to use it as a poker. Oh, they're going to eat they it. can eat it. They'll be He's saving taste, that one for his girl. It tastes better now. If they want to eat, if they want to eat the bottom, then, then they'll at least get some <laughs> weed on them. If they're that kind, if they're yeah, that it's, desperate, it's, it's donors, I, I, I eat the bottom and taste not so It tastes better than the other ones. Um, it's like the magic butter without the butter or the hour in between. So magic butter. So speaking of that, the guy who made the magic butter machine, yes, sir. Jeremy, yeah, um, has uh, they got, I believe they got fourth uh, fourth stage cancer. Jeremy. Oh shit! So he's going through a whole bunch of uh, chemo right now. Jeremy he's, or Jay Angel? Jer- Jeremy, Chef Chef Jeremy. Yeah. Um, but so uh, there's a couple of GoFundMe pages up. Um, anything you guys can do to go donate for it. It's, uh, He's, he's, I've, I've known the guy since Washington, 2010. He, he was against me. Not, I mean, not against me, but across the aisle, like with his little butter machine. And I thought it was really cool that he sold. <laughs> so, he was just against me with his little butter well, machine. Well, not against me, but you know, he crossed Quote the street unquote, from me. Like he was, he, he, he was across the way. But no, he was, he was nice enough. He, he, he had donated a couple of machines to like some of my patients. That's cool. Just to give him some stuff. So he was a really nice guy. He sold that company and then was, you know, like MC at a bunch of places. But, oh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely kind of a nice guy in the industry. So. I think that's going to go donate his thing. There's a Facebook page up. So, but yeah. Uh, he, he, the Magical Butter Machine was his. Yeah, it was funny because when we were at that show in uh, Vegas, it was like everywhere you turned was like old industry and new industry all mixed up in such a crazy way. And it was just like, you know, uh, walk down the aisle and it's like, oh, that's the guy that made the the, the Easy Cloner, you know. And that's <laughs> the guy who made this. And then, you know... The people come up to me, oh, this is the guy from the bubble gum. You know, it's just like, it's just weird when you go to these shows because it's like uh, f- everybody's finally kind of coming out to, Come out of the know, work. <laughs> coming out of the, well, yeah, and, and to either consolidate, which is going to happen to a lot of people. And you see that's happening. Like, by next year, like, half those companies that were have their own booth are not going to have their own booth next year. You know what I mean? No. You're going to go there, they're going to be like five companies under one roof. You know what I mean? And see, they're going to get restricted stock for IP. Yeah, you're going to see a lot and more. Of watch what, out for the ones that are just pumping off your IP. Mm-hmm. And by the time you get that restriction lifted, you got nothing. And those so deals, I'm, those I, deals. I don't know what that means. I'm just a little bootstrap company. So. <laughs> uh, it, it means the funny money out of Canada. People will come in and make you great promises about oh, yeah, what they're going to give you. They're yeah. going to give you all this stock, look big, at how much it's worth. Big watches. But if somebody gives you $2 shoes. million dollars for your company no. today, even if it's coming in Canadian stock, no. something you can't sell tomorrow, like literally tomorrow, you right. still owe income tax because oh. you just got paid at that ridiculous value. Right. Well, they'd have to pay me in And so... That wouldn't take that number. Well, it could. Right. You're 20. 20, you'll be even worse. 20. Oh, yeah, exactly. So now that, uh, I don't know. I think so the, watch out for the Canadian well. deals. No, yeah. I'd look, watch out for all deals. Watch out for all deals. All deals. Bastards. And uh, yeah, I'm just a broker. We just sell a lot of beans. Uh, which, right, which, by the way, thanks for the 420 sales. Uh, we think we broke some records. Um, exotic genetics had packs at 42.88 a pack. Um, Soul Fire had a bunch of packs at 42.88 a pack. So, I think Soul and Exotic gave away a free 10 pack of Fruitopia with everything. So, cool. it, went, it went really, really well. So, thank you, everybody. And it helps us. It helps them move gear before it gets all older. You know what I mean? And um, it gets gets the other guys a chance to grow some exotic. We, I, I, I love. I, I, it's one of my top guys. So. But yeah, yeah and that was amazing. So, hats, yep. off, hats off there, yep. Mike. Um, all right, I think we're doing our uh, our final thing. We're here at the, uh, the. Oh, is that the next one? Or is that the, that, that was not even this one, was it? That was that not was the bud tender. That was the bud tender's ball. Bud tender's ball. Mm, nice you know the dates and stuff. I don't. I sort of flashed to that as I was like, "That's not." I was like, "Oh, we know it's today and where we are." But I was like, "Thanksgiving." Mm, this today is Thanksgiving. Which in a I, private home in Denver. At a super awesome spot. Yeah, mansion. I said. To me. I called a castle. 
Oh, whatever. But then I bought a hotel. The hotel's the twice hotel's the size. way more castle. Looks like a castle. Yeah, so that's this is, the castle. This is the townhouse of quality now? Yeah, yeah. This is the... Uh, Just the townhouse, man. <laughs> this would be like the gatehouse or something like that, you know, of the mansion. No, no, a townhouse, Or man. of the uh, <laughs> castle. The city estate. Thank you for okay. the hospitality. Yeah, you know, you're always welcome. Sure. Thank you. So, thank you, man. And, uh... Any website? Okay, well, obviously, seedsherenow.com, seedsherenow.com, seedsherenow.com forever. What are we wrapping up? Yeah, pretty much. What? We're three hours in, dude. What? It's 11 11, dude. It's perfect time. <coughs> 11 11 is perfect time. It's one. Okay. We are all one. Sure. We are all one. It's Just 11 11. We're all thinking about each other. Uh, 11 11. Fair day. Tell us all about you. Best <laughs> the the cannabis the best in Denver. Man. I have been going there. The best le- I have been going there consistently for a year now. Every single week what, what was this for an ounce this is, of that super oh, lemonade. This is this one. And I almost don't want don't want to tell people how great this is because <laughs> then I'm going to stand in a line yeah. waiting for it, and they're going to run out, and I'm going to want it, and I'm going to miss it, and I'm going to feel horrible. But man, you've got to smoke this week. Appreciate the love, man. Thank love you. it. Thank you, man. Love it. Thank you. All right, now what were you going to say about your business? Yeah, say something. <laughs> say Verde.com or whatever uh, the VerdeNatural.com. There we go. Say what is it? <coughs> you got to come to 5101 East Colfax Avenue and uh, come check us out. we got the real deal. Good looking logo. He moved away from the taco stand. It's He's funny. got himself up we're into like the... the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> we're selling burritos for, for two weeks. You are right across from the Marzix Market right there Ooh. on Colfax. Yeah. Nugs Ice Cream Shop. Nugs, I- Nugs, Nugs Ice Cream ice right ice next cream. door. Is that your business? Did you open that up? That is not my business. You need to go take that from them because they don't know what they got. They got something good. They know. G, is there a Z in there? Do they got Z. the Nugs? Nugs. Oh, don't tell. What's her name? You've don't, got to do promotion. Don't tell like, Sam's. Don't tell Sam's pie. Buy so much. Buy an eighth. Get get an ice cream cone. Mm. What is it, Sam's? What at Nugs? Nugs. Switch it up. Yeah, we got a lot of things. Cross promotion. I don't know what she said. Get a milkshake. Get a dollar oh, off yeah, a gram. <laughs> 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 Mm, now they got this milkshake. I really like want blueberry some of that. flavors or blueberry flavors. Oh, oh. match them up, get like fifty cents off. Oh yeah, we could do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten percent, just ten percent. Ten percent, ten percent. Thirty or forty. Forty percent. Forty percent going in. Forty percent at the end. So yeah, I can find. So I can finally hum, uh, pump uh, hoodlabstore dot com because we actually have clothes. Nice. Because before I could never. No, let me do it. Let me pump. I want. Okay, so everyone's got to go to hoodlab store clothes store dot com dot com. Yeah, and check out the yeah, new the collection. New check out the new collection. Just came in. All right, ready? Everyone join me. 10%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was like Chris. Pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah. Put Chris's pretty name there. We may, we, may, we may add 10% to your account. There's six no. times 10. <laughs> so you, have to make, you have to make up the idea or have the idea of me. I have a guess. She, she got 86 from the hotel. And so she had, had, had one of her customers, the hairdresser, had a customer call today to ask if she could book a room. And we let her know that, unfortunately, no, we just don't, don't have any rooms available tonight. And she said, is it because of this particular individual? And, you know, the, my, my, my GM didn't want to say it. I mean, yeah, yeah, just tell her, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This, this one individual and everyone she knows are not welcome in this space. I got nine rooms. Trust me, some people are bed and breakfast people. Right. Some people aren't. <laughs> just they're not. They're yeah. not. Barely the bed. You know, definitely not breakfast. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, wait in line. At the, I like a Holiday Inn Express, okay? It's a really consistent product when you're on the road sometimes. Mm-hmm. Though they changed up the breakfast a little, you still get the cinnamon roll, but some of the eggs aren't as good, but, you know. Yeah, well, it's a, deli- it's a delicate balance, you know, and also everybody's Airbnb'd out now, right? So they're not used to seeing people and talking to people and, and like, dealing with things. So, like, <laughs> everybody gets all, like, freaking whacked out. So, yeah, I can understand you're definitely you're, you're definitely going to be like it's like faulty towers, man. You know, it's literally like you're you're living that life at a small hotel with a fucking bunch of crazies that are going to get even crazier, I'm sure. Uh, so no two days. I'll be the back same, next year. I'll be back to see what you can do. No, I'll definitely six uh, months in. I've survived this far. So far, so good. Okay, well that's good, and, and it, I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm, I'm, this town is is pretty good because a lot of people haven't really been here, and they all come. And if they're coming for to the weed culture, sure. they're going to be like. Lucky to, to meet your, you know, to, lucky to go to your spot because yeah. it's like it, it isn't as easy as you think, and there ain't that many places that you can actually like vape in your room and Honestly, or my smoke crowd on the balcony. Is, you know, it's just hard to find places that let you do it. Like my crowd's can, fifty can, up, it's the fifty up, maybe fifty five up crowds coming here. More likely a novice consumer, not going to be comfortable making the decision to eat, smoke, or vape in the Hyatt. Right. 
So oh, they, oh they no, they're not. They're not, they're not seasoned. They're not seasoned professionals have, I, like I, some people. Look, if, since you can vape in the rooms, I've got some puff codes now. So if you come in and you rent it, I, I rent it to you. Oh, I, I want a little bit, couple. Ah, it's, it's something. It's, it's yeah, something it's good. Thing. Electrical doesn't yeah. plug in. It's easy for the guests. Yeah, no, they're, they're good, but yeah. I heard, I heard, I don't know how to for a four grumpy letter word bear, in there. Grumpy bear over there. I heard you say a four letter word about that little product. No, they're, 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 we're we're oh. going to carry them, we might go to carry them. I just, they, they're, they've got to fix their, their atomizer. It keeps busting. It keeps, it's too full and it bubbles sure. over. Sure. And until they, until they've they got to stop sending so many emails. <laughs> <laughs> they're marketing outreach, man, five times a day to the yeah. same email. It's not like the five different email accounts. Yeah. Or five same. different machines. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, on the Puffco thing. account, man. I never got one yet. So, um, if they want to get me one and put me on the account and send me five emails, I'll, I'm down. Yeah. I can do it. I'll check it out. I mean, I, I, I haven't got one because of, of the daintiness of the of the atomizer and also just like yeah. the. And, and, it, and now I see people who put put better glass on. It you looks see, like, I brought my torches. I, did, I didn't bring. I didn't bring but my my puffco. It's because it just it gets clogged so easy. It's just a pain. I mean, it's just it's, it doesn't hold as much. As oh it shit! Well, that's another show entirely. We're gonna do so, that one. Don't do worry. We're gonna do it. You own it. You have it. You love it. You know it. No, I don't have a puffco. No, my torch. No, but he's gonna have five. I have a torchless. Oh, yeah, but torchless I don't use either anymore. No, I'm like, digging I the did. space can. I like my Temple Tower. My, my six-year-old I, Temple I had Tower. I had a space can. I had to give it away. Adam's gonna get me another Adam, one. Adam, plug soon. the email. Plug my plug my plug classic, my, the oh, classic Temple Tower. Your Temple. I'm telling you that I it already brought back memories. You have not seen one of those in a while. I haven't seen one working. since 2012 <laughs> or 13. Got, it's in a box on a shelf you look at every day when you walk past it in the garage, but I you haven't like, seen one working in a while. No, no, I was like, wow, that's a fucking <laughs> blast from the past right there. Yep. Uh, shout out to my beautiful wife, Cece. And no, so and we're, we, we, we still got to do the Emma Cup drop. What's the Emma Cup drop? Where I announce all the breeders are going to be at my booth for Emma Cup. Well, you better hurry up. All right, well, let's get it done. <laughs> we said 11 11, now it's 11 15, and you know. And all of a sudden, flies. time just flies. Right, well, we, we, uh, we, we can do it next week, that's fine. No, but you can do it. Let's I do know, it. Let's no, hype no, it up. Hype it. Just say them. You just say the names. There's only how many? All right. 30? 20? 10? Huh? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> all right, so. He's got it like already digitized. We actually, for the first time on the West Coast, we'll have the real Kim Dog and Kim Dog Glass. <laughs> right, right? It's insane. I mean, Kim Dog Glass, he's going to have all his pipes. First time he's been out. Uh, we'll have Duke Diamond from Dominion, Dominion Seed, uh, along with uh, Skunk VA from Lucky Dog Seed Company. Mr. and Mrs. Mad Farmer, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bog. We'll have Leo Stone from Aficionado, DJ Short. Um, Alana from Green Fire. We'll have the School of Hard Knocks guys. Jordy from the podcast. Dude Grows. We'll have Colin Gordon from Ethos Seeds. Matt Riot from Riot Seeds. And of course, Adam Dunn from GH Seeds. So, uh, so if Matt's listening to the show, I, he, he might be all thinking I was all mad or something like that. I've heard a story and we were going to talk about it. That, I, know. Uh, no, I didn't believe I'm not it. Mad. I'm not mad. Don't worry. I didn't believe it. It was just somebody told me he was talking shit. And I no. kind of said yes, which is fine. I know him. Don't right. worry. Right. Yeah, so I mean, but, but you know, people was, was it was it true shit? It was, was it childish. like was it based on honesty? Just was go, he right? No. Go to the person no. calling you out. No, but it was just like <clears throat> the only thing. It was just like he he wanted, according to my friend, he wanted my friend to be on his show, and I haven't had him on my show yet. And he's right. my good friend, and he's a and he's like so and, and, and so it was a little bit like he was. I don't know if it's just from the smoke in the room, but I see the halo. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was looking. I was all like, oh well, you know. I heard vulgarity. And I have to say something because my friend was like super pissed, and so I was like, I, so I said something, and then he got really like, no. And then I tried to send him something back, and then I, like it did one of those things where you write the whole thing out, and then you're like, ah, it's, who cares? And erased it all and just didn't say nothing. Because he was special. So I was like, he's so, a nice guy. So I was like, so I was like, I'll just leave it till I see him, and then I'll when I see him. But if he's listening to the show, don't worry. No, it was a, it was a matter of confusion. I've heard about it. So it wasn't it wasn't, but it wasn't a hundred percent. Like it was definitely like something I wanted to like just throw out there real quick and see what the reaction was. But he says he didn't do it, and I told my friend he, he did eight calls. I said, bro. I, I said screenshot. Let me see the screenshot to my bro. And he, he called the bro. Yeah, but it was for a different reason for though. I and know. Not for that. I know. But anyways, but yeah, but, but Matt Rat's good guy. Good, good guy. We we just added added him to my bank. He's my latest addition. Right. So uh, he says, like, we yeah. love Matt. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, it was, it was just mis miscommunication. <laughs> anyway, so, anyways, yeah, and on that note, go ahead. Keep that going. Note, yeah, that, that's it. That's, that's all. It. That's, that's all. It. I mean, it's, I wasn't on the list. Ten readers. No, no, you were the last on the list. I was last. I, said, uh, you were, you were, I saved the best for last. Oh, 
Oh, this is, okay. And the one dra- and bottom and drawer. I'm I heard him say the one and only oh, okay. yeah, Saint Dunn. Dunn. The, no. Podfather. No. the Podfather. The Godfather. Now the real the Pod, Podfather. There's, there's other is he the Godfather? The Podfather. The Podfather. The Podfather. Yeah, there's other real Podfathers. Podfather. <gasps> Uh, I'm the a late, papal late, Podfather. I'm a late bloomer. Yeah. Matthew Wright, you may not do this. You're the, the Pope of yeah, the Podfather. You can do this. You can do this to the bro. How was you for the bro? The boss yeah. of the boss. No, the bro is coming on my show. Were you course. the first? I've already had your promise. Were you the first podcaster? No. no. By, not by any means. Uh, no, there's, there's a few out there, 100% that have taken, like, probably did some of the first ones, but not, that are still on. It's, it's more about what's still on. It's not like the first, because the first doesn't mean shit. It's, for, it's like whoever long. Longevity. You know, it's longevity, right? So, and I'm just started. I never do nothing short term. So. Is that plan? And, and there's most of them that are scripted, you know, but you know, not not to your mine point. is the most non scripted exactly. thing you've ever you've ever listened to in your life. <laughs> your show, the fact that people yeah. or, or, or your life, my life, yeah, my, my <laughs> life is not scripted <laughs> at all. See, let's dig into this. Yeah. So wait, let's not sign <laughs> no, off. Like, no. we're, we're making real progress sure. here, Adam. No, no, no. <laughs> <We're> healing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There'll be no digging in. All right. <laughs> oh, and Verde's out. Tap out. Tap Look at first guy out. Okay, well, this is the longest one ever. We're gonna keep. Going, bro. We're gonna go on till All this right. is only no, like no, the no, first no. minute of the real podcast, right? Oh, now. God, now the marijuana. I've, now got good, I've, I've got some Duke Diamond restraints to release too. So now, you go smoke some marijuana. Yeah, and now Sorry, we're gonna cannabis. actually start. Strike, strike, strike marijuana, cannabis. So cannabis. you don't know nothing about the Bud Tenders Bowl, when it is or what it is. I can go grab the poster and I can come hold it in front of the window again for there longer than the one second. Exactly, and I'll do my quick shout okay, out. Here it comes. And then, <laughs> all right, so before Shut he comes sponsors. back, and I give the shout out to the place that we're at. Uh, the real bad, yeah, this is the, the real end of the end. He's out of here. Oh, here we go. Bud Tender's ball. I needed about this big anyway. Oh. Christmas qualifier, Dave's house, Connoisseur Cup. Dave's house might be up in Aspen, I would think, because that's what he usually does for these. So, and this is going to be the Cannabis Cup Club if you want to check it out. And here it is. Give it up, show it up. Thanks for having us here. Uh, thanks to Wayward Bill for stopping in. Yeah, Wayward Bill. And st- thanks to Chuck from Verde, of course, for stopping in. Chuck from Verde. Good and stuff. of course, too. I don't know what he's doing now. He must be a mess up there. Interrupting somebody getting drunk. He's definitely interrupting somebody. But he's uh, thanks to James, obviously, for coming through with the crew. And uh, when we get fucking. Sh- sh- Thanks for Chat Gang. We need to, oh, thanks, Chat Gang, of course. And I wanted to get Duke Diamond. I was hoping he was going to come through. But when he's uh, tamed, when he's tamed himself. Uh, Seriously, like three, three, three weeks in the hole, and he wanted to stab me for my lunch. And I was just like, no, we're going to not filming you today. It's like, um, I think John Belushi's, um, John Belushi's uh, mugshot was like that, where he was just like <laughs> big, big mess. You but, know what I mean? but the strains he gave me, oh my God, <laughs> like knocked me on my ass. Like he's, he's got some serious heat that he's coming up with, so I'm very excited. Cool. We'll hopefully get him on the show yeah, soon. soon. Um, and I want to get Jeremy on the show soon. And there's a whole bunch of people. So things thing, things to look forward to on the Adam Dunn Show. Uh, shout out to my beautiful wife, Cece, and little Nick, who is playing with his friend. Uh, They're not I, at this fucking time. I hope not right at this time. No, no I wouldn't doubt ass. if he's not. No, it's Friday, dude. He's fucking raging, dude. Oh, my he God. Is raging. He's bound. No, he'll be asleep, I hope, by now. But... He probably got a couple little extra, extra, extra minutes in there. Um, but yeah, it was his friend Naya's birthday. They were coming by, so it was gonna be real fun. Oh, here's a, here's a, here's a story. So in case, it, just in oh. case his teachers are listening, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Nick t- jumps in my car the other day and he goes, uh, "Dad." told everybody to listen to the Adam Dunn show. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, everybody's going to listen. All no, my friends, go find the my guy. teacher, and I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> great. I was like, yeah, they're going to listen to my show. I don't think they really want to listen to my show. And I was like trying to explain to them, but you know, probably don't want to tell everybody. Like, you know, yeah. I was like, yeah, and then, and then his Dad is gonna listen, and that guy's gonna <laughs> listen. So, <laughs> so, so Nick's, Nick's gonna lose like a lot of friends, and, or get like a lot of really cool ones. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting <laughs> little shift of friends yeah. the next few weeks. We'll see what oh, happens. So, of you. if uh, yeah, if you are listening uh, to the <laughs> show and you are a teacher <laughs> of my <you>. child, <laughs> I applaud you for right. being able to make it through to this end. I had this. an open, open mind, but uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, Nick, no. Not a good idea. Anyway, 
Uh, so Thanks yeah, to the producer for producing everything. Sitting over MTI there, is the man. MTI I've already given him three times. This is his you, fourth fourth shout out. I'm, I'm just saying that when it, it, it's. Uh, the, the, I know. The, without him, I'm useless. The, yeah. the old quality of production really distracted. And if I'm on the road, I try all the time and do these things, and I just listen to him later, and I go, ah, I can't do them live because I can't figure out how to do half the shit. And yep. I can't. It's just too hard. Got to have a good. And I don't think any podcast sounds good when uh, there's a few, but it's like people are actually got some skills, and they are you know maybe that's but, what they but, do. But night and day day. Difference as far as listening between MTI and the kid, I love the kid. I'm just saying, what? Uh, MTI is the it, kid. It, it, the if kid you go, is if you go back, and, if you go back and listen, like I, yeah. I, I used to garden and listen to it, and, yeah. and when Mitch would talk, he'd be going like this, and I would like sh- would scare the shit out of me. Well, I think like, it was, ah. a, yeah, I think then, yeah. I think it was just our <laughs> different styles though too, like so. Yeah, but but, but he, but, really but he could balance them out over there, mm-hmm. so attack. But, so, uh, yeah. anyway, so props to, props really, to was, I, I know Mitch, like, Mitch was more of a leaner. He was like lean right in. <laughs> and, and, the kid, and the kid should have turned his ass down, but he didn't do it. The so, kid, come on, dude, get your shit together. I know, he, he could uh, barely fire the mixer, but I love the kid. You know, all I'm saying. Who doesn't love the kid? I'm just saying. The kid. Is it, Thank you, MGI. He's in Jamaica, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'll talk to you soon, kid. Bye. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next week, and peace. Peace. Practically every one of the top 40 records being played on every radio station in the United States is a communication to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. The psychedelic jackets on the record albums have their own hidden we don't want you to smoke genetically modified ganja. We want you to smoke the real thing. We want you to smoke the natural herb. Some call it marijuana. Some call it sensimedia. Some call it lamb's bread. And some people call it... Ganja.